Good evening and welcome to Champions Poker Live. It is PLO with the Stallions tonight. This is Dan Fouts coming to you live from Champions Club in Houston, Texas. And joining me tonight is special guest commentator, Poker Stallion himself, Fireman Scott. How's it going tonight, Scott? I'm great, Dan. How are you? I am great as well. Looking forward to working with you in the booth this time. It's going to be interesting to hear your analysis when you can actually see all the hold cards instead of just guessing what the guys that are playing against you have. Hell yeah, the dream comes true. I can actually see the cards. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Got a crazy stacked lineup tonight. 5-10-25 game tonight with an optional 50 straddle. Uh, and I'm going to leave it to you and Will. What's up, Houston? Welcome to the Houston PLO Poker Show with the Stallions. We are going to play a little bigger today. We brought some, some of the same faces, and we brought some uh, new faces. Jolene's been on once, but uh, we've got no introduction needed in the one seat. we got Harry. <laughs> Harry, uh, we're gonna, he wants to play bigger than we're playing. Yeah, let's so play bigger. Come on. We're going to have the 5, 10, 25, uh, optional 50 under the gun is going to be tonight. Uh, newcomer right. Lawrence is first under the gun. I'll, I'll do it for good luck. Do it for, for the stream! Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Start it off. <laughs> Everyone else, we got Peter, the sweater guy, back. We got Will in the two seat, El Tractor. Um, he promised me a different outfit tonight, so I'm kind of upset, but I got still going to play. It'll be all right. <laughs> no introduction needed over here. We got Sanji, Saber of Houston Poker. And then Oklahoma Larry, a huge fan favorite from everybody back home. Water has become a staple on this game. And he is wearing the hat of the fireman, fireman hat, Scott hat. Finally uh, got it. Fireman's up in the booth right now, going to be commentating on this game. He nice gave hat. his hat up. He said he's going to let. Well, I guess we'll see if he runs. Scott, Scott does 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 sure. hat or he not. is commentating. Yeah, he's going to commentate. And then, like we said, newcomer in the ninth seat, Lawrence. Uh, Lawrence has been playing PLO in Houston for a long time, so he's, he's been <laughs> fun. Uh, we brought him out because he's huge action, and uh, I needed to get one more Asian on the stream with me, so that's why Lawrence is also invited. Alrighty. You, you as well. But we're, we're so. I'm, I'm you know, we're as regular. Asian as it can get. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> because you know, down here, the more Asians, the better action you have in the game. So, uh, me, Sanji, and. Uh, Lawrence will provide all the action for the rest of you. Thank you. Right. Waters didn't even have to yeah, bluff you to get the hat today, huh? No, no uh, I let him have it right off the bat. And, uh, Scott's already probably talked over me three times. So. <laughs> <laughs> Cue me. I'm definitely interested to go back and listen to like, everything he says. That's pretty says. strong. Like, Give Scott a hard time here. He's not even at the table. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, Larry. We're going to give you a hard time, too. Larry, someone told me the other day that one of their favorite things is when I upset you at the table. Oh, yeah? And you get mad and you want to come over here. And so whoever that's the favorite thing of the night, you'll get him killed tonight. <laughs> I got Jolene in between us. She's going to protect me. That's one of my favorite pastimes of all time oh. is just messing oh. with oh. Oklahoma oh. Larry. Getting it know. started. I'm a gambler. I like to push my limits as okay, far as I can. 2,000 men buy-in. Uh, there's no max. There will be probably some add-ons and some uh, match the stacks as we go. But 2K men and uh, <coughs> expect a few stacks. Good. Yeah, I didn't want to be the only one. In, in the here. first orbit. I'm cold. I didn't want to be the only one in here with him. A couple monsters right out of the gate. Mm -hmm. El Tractor mm -hmm. raising with the double suited ace, queen eight, deuce. Harry's got the kings. Harry's never going to be the only one. Somebody's coming after him at all times. And he's flop top set. Dirty Harry right out of the gate. I love it, and I love his hat. God, You're right, so Waters. Easy. We've we've had this bet where he's supposed to try to bluff me out of my hat. And um, he hasn't been able to do it for the past couple of streams, so I just gave it to him tonight to wear for a little while. And uh, we'll see how it does. No, I'm the 50 if I want it. It's not a bad idea. You can't fit the cans around that big hat anyway, so you're going to have to take it off in here. I did. Did you win that night? I don't remember. Barely. I got zero. I had like one or two hands I got to play. I wasn't in for very long. Yeah. I came in late. Oh, that was right. That was the next game. Like zero. Zero card. Jolene's so been... Kind of like, like Oklahoma over here. Last Oklahoma Larry will play any four. That's, a di that's different. I did what? said so you will play any four, so that's different. Mm -hmm. You don't need to wait for, you know, hands to play. No. 
No, Larry's going to take just whatever cards are dealt to him. 9954. Yeah, they're going to pot to that win. Like 20 something thousand, I think. Nine, nine, no, 17,000. <coughs> 9954. Flopped everyone dead. True story. I think you might have had two outs around the whole thing. All right. Oklahoma Larry and Waters, both regulars on this stream, both given lots of action every week and becoming fan favorites. Everywhere I go in town, people are asking me about Oklahoma Larry. I knew they'd love him. I've no, loved playing with him <laughs> for more than a decade. What? I played with a guy one time that was hit this every time huh? check. Three scans. <laughs> I got to do is make Scott, uh, I gotta make Scott Pro. And I've played with Harry a lot, too. All high stakes. I want to be proud of Jax. He likes action. Well, I mean, I got Harry seems to be really good for the stream. Every time he's on here, he gives great action. He's super good for any game he was in the first time I met him. Uh, I was about 30 minutes into a 5,100 PLO game. I was up 30K, and they asked me if I'd give my seat up. And I said, are you sure you want me to give my seat up? I'm up 30K. And they're like, no, we got somebody who's way more action than you. So I stood up, and he walked in the door. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. And he, or it's noon, I'm sorry. It's noon, and he walks in the door and says, I've been up since 10. I had caviar for breakfast. Give me some whiskey. So he is a high-stakes <laughs> Houston legend, without a doubt. He plays hard. And uh, he's becoming kind of a stream regular now. Well, we like having them here. Hello, Sam. How are you? We got Scott commentating today. Scott's in the box commentating. He should be out there. You can talk to him. Too. Yeah, I can finally. The, you know, as a poker player, you have dreams at night that you can actually you can, see uh, the other players' cards. <laughs> That's how I mean, living the dream here. But as I suspected, every week when I watch the stream, my buddy Oklahoma Larry. I'm gonna raise it up. Waters with the Kings this time. Double suited. You gotta love that. Let's keep the Reds guys. In, uh, unless we're all in. Yeah, very nice hand. Nine four. One four. Two four. Three four. I like Harry's call. Well, you know I like it. You got seven four twice, basically. Yeah, you got a suited <laughs> ace there, and uh, all spades on the flop. Waters flops the nuts. A little quiet. We're missing. Oh, Second there he is. I was about to say, how do you know this hand? I knew this hand looked familiar. Power, I remember walking in here. There's too much power in this hat. We're on an yeah, hour delay, really, that's 200. and so. Uh, this is about the time I walked in and said hello to everybody. See? Look Scott. at these three the holding two. Scott. 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 I told you there's, Show two nines. there's power. Oh. Well, I thought he flopped it up like nines. <laughs> Scott from the past meets Scott from the future. <laughs> You're taking it back? All right. You're taking it back. Steve here? Hey. Yeah, I had dinner with Jolene right before the stream, and she mentioned that she would look better in that cowboy hat than I would. <laughs> and I agreed with her. I said, I think the stream just needs to see your face. We've got one, one pretty lady on the stream. But in the end, I gave in and gave her the lucky hat. That's the one bad thing about that hat. It casts a shadow on your lovely face. <laughs> Nothing like the rally cup. Oh. Scott, I'm on you. It's 510. Yeah. It's good. It's live, right? Yeah, it's live. Good. I'm not putting it on. I'm not putting it on. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. We need to get a picture of everyone in the cowboy hat. That should be the next yeah. thumbnail. We're taking millions of pictures right now. Jolene is a Houston legend. As I mentioned, I had dinner with her earlier, and I said, well, um, can you tell me something, an interesting story that I could tell about you in the booth? And she said, uh, how about don't believe any of the stories? And I said, well, that's not good, because every story I've ever heard about you has been good. <laughs> Everybody loves her. 
a great lady at the poker table. Knows how to take a joke, knows how to take a loss. Good winner. Yeah, it's so important to be a good winner and a good loser when you play poker because you're going to win sometimes and you're going to lose sometimes. That's the nature of this game. Well, she's, you know, she really is a legend as to where she's a lady who all of the old timers know and love and respect. And even the, the younger crew, like Cord was telling me his first ever time in a poker room when he snuck in when he was 17 was at a poker room that was uh, one of hers that she was at a lot. And, and he met her right away when he was 16 years old. So true poker, Houston poker legend, and we love having her on the stream. Brightens up any table she's at. Obviously, especially with this this group. Indeed. Three ways to this flop. Another all wheel card flop. Nobody has the clubs to draw to. So it's an actual. Oh no! Well, I'm standing behind Lawrence in this hand. I'm a pretty good sweater. I have that as the theme music, and how to say that. Those diamonds. <laughs> good sweat comes through. For those watching, please fold is Lawrence. Eight hundred. Eight hundred. Four calls. Yeah, it's a pretty unfortunate card Seven. for Will. I mean, a one-out king, which. He already had the best hand, but uh, pretty tough card for Will. And then the King's Fool. <coughs> nice hand by Lawrence. Yeah, got looking, a check on the turn. Looking for the double up. Gets his chips in there good. Yeah, it's a, it's a good fold by Will. You know, he calls on the turn pretty light. Just one hair, one pair in Omaha. It's pretty light, but he he thinks he's good, and I and I like his call there, too. If I have ace-king on the turn there. Um, and Lawrence is known to get a bit out of line. So uh, he took one off, but after Lawrence stayed with it for two streets, I think Will just thought about it a little better and said, now nah, I'm going to let this one go, and it was a good fold. Yeah, when it checks around on the flop, there are a lot of players who are just going to fire at any turn, right? And so sometimes you have to call those players. Will, yeah, Will knows Lawrence is capable. And even if he didn't get him on there right now, this is early in the game, and for fairly cheap, he's let Lawrence know, don't be thinking about getting two out of line. I'm going to keep you in check right away. You know, and he's letting him know early. Right. Before the stacks are... 10,000 yeah, high. Yeah, things get serious. When you got a chance, you know, it's like sometimes you can, your hand's not that great, but you can see a flop in position for cheap, so you take it. Or, you know, you can pull off a bluff for maybe pretty cheap, and you can take it, especially early when you're kind of setting the fight up. Two pair or something like that. Yeah, yeah you're definitely not putting down kings there. It, Lawrence, uh, what is his name on here? I'm sorry. Please fold. Please fold, yeah. Yeah, uh, Please Fold is a very creative player. Um, as I told people before, I think uh, Rockets Will is one of the best players in the world. So I'll, I'm interested to see him playing against a creative player like Lawrence today and uh, a really good high-stakes player like Will Benson and, uh, and Harry Cullen and, of course, the wild card Larry. I, I'm... I'm very excited to see it from this side of the felt, or this side of the camera, I mean. It's funny you said that about Will Benson. Uh, I talked to him a little bit before the stream, and he said, are you going to give me a bunch of crap about my play on the stream? <laughs> and uh, like all players, I, I try not to say anything negative about anybody's play because I know the players and their friends are really the audience, right? Mm -hmm. But certain players I know I can make fun of because they can take a joke and stuff like that. So I'm going to I'll always rib you when I can. And Will said, yeah, you, you can go ahead and make fun of me anytime you want. And I, I told him, well, there's nothing to make fun of you, but you never get yeah. out of line. I mean, you're, you're a great player. You know the game. <laughs> Tough. Yeah, he's hardly out of line, so it's hard to make fun of him too much. And he barely ever says anything. So he doesn't even look stupid when he's talking or anything. <laughs> 
Yeah, he's a smart guy, and uh, I've mentioned a couple of times on the stream before. I met him I playing high stakes the same time I met Harry. Very good. And uh, very different players, obviously. Harry was the action guy in the room, and Will was the professional in the room. <laughs> yeah, he definitely knows what he's doing. But he'll give some action, too. He's not just a well, boring old rock at the game, you know, or anything like that. Well, and I think that this is a good opportunity for that to happen. And what I mean by that is a lot of times when players drop down in stakes, they'll blast off a lot because it seems like just such little money to them that they'll blast off a lot of chips. Will's not a person who's going to do that. He's not going to blast off just because he's playing lower stakes sometimes on these streams. But... He might open up a little bit and and be a little more creative, you know. I was up and then I and then I lost. Yeah, but yeah, he's a he's a great player, and uh, I think he'll do well tonight. I, I'm always predicting Rockets will to do the best, but I put uh, Will Benson. Had a good chance tonight to win big, too. I also like Sanjeev to win tonight. He runs hot, and when he gets a little confidence going in a tournament or a cash game, he can be dangerous. Definitely. Yeah, he's, he's done really well on the stream. And um, under the radar, as always, the super genius, Peter Fry, the sweater guy. Again, like Jolene, longtime Houston legend. Uh, and Northside, so... I've known Peter forever, and uh, he's got a great character in real life and on the felt. Battle of the Fours. I think I won Jolene's got the better kicker right now. Yeah, nothing too. Spades come off. I don't think anybody's going to get too crazy here. No, that's a good turn for Will. He's got an open ender to go along with his four now, but terrible river for both of these players. Joe's just going to check her equity and collect the pot. Yeah. Well, Will knew she for sure at least had a four there. And, uh,. No need to get crazy. Try to keep the pot small. See, I told you guys, there's power in the hat. I know. Every, every, let me wear it for a second. I need to double up. I'm on the board. Will does have a cowboy hat that he wears quite often. He, on Instagram, he goes by the handle of the poker cowboy. So check him out on IG if you have not already. We also have a poker stallions Instagram. TikTok, all of that stuff. Check that out, there. guys, if you have not. Yeah. I have a, 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 a couple of signal problems right now, so I can't get in the chat on my phone. Sorry, guys. But hello to everyone in the chat. I know Dan's got his computer. He's talking them up. Bobby Flay, I know you're in there. We love you guys. And uh, I'm sorry I never get to talk to you live when I'm at the felt. So at least now when I'm sitting here, hey, chat, guys. Thank you for the support. <laughs> if you do Larry, see, you're being very disciplined tonight. If you do see him, let me know if I should call or phone. Take a note. I'll try. <laughs> Please let me know. Under the table. Take a note. Thank you. Give me four or four calls. Five four. No way. No way. Both of you have counted. I had the ten in and I thought I was committed. I told you never win. Peter said it quietly, but it's a Check. saying that he's famous for if you fold, you never win. Peter is usually quiet and usually the funniest guy at the table. If you if you catch what he's saying, he's super wry and dry sense of humor. I I, I love that guy at the game. <laughs> yeah, he's hilarious. Always acts like he just along for the ride, doesn't know what's going on. 
Meanwhile, he's taken all our money. I've played with him. I've, I've been losing to him for 10 years or more. <laughs> no, more, definitely. Either. You got me a position there? Or you actually had a yeah, there was an example of Will being uh, creative. He was blocking the straight, yeah. I mean, I didn't, didn't have, have anything, no had bets and takes the pot. You have a pair? No. I had a gut shot for a two. I needed a two. I needed a two also. Yeah, <laughs> Will's one of those players <laughs> where, and actually last week uh, he was on the stream with me, the and there was a yeah, spot yeah, where I had, I had a jack I high flush. Yeah, if I had a position, I would have bet that turn as well. And he bet the dry guy, I and I just let him <laughs> have it. I didn't even defend. I folded my flush, and it's just, you know, in most games that I'm at, I'm looking around at spots that I can be in, and being out of position calling against a guy like Will Benson is just not that good. You know, I know he's betting with either the nuts or the dry guy. Right. And I'm like, man, I'm going to look for a better spot at this table. You're usually going to have to spot him the nuts and draw out on him. Yeah, if he doesn't have the nuts, he's blocking it every time. No real good hands here, but Peter flops bottom two. Nothing more dangerous in Omaha than bottom two or bottom set. That's true. Uh, Peter's a pretty confident guy, though, and uh, knows where he's at most of the time, and he can throw a feeler bet, at, a feeler bet out there, a small bet like that. And usually take it down like that, or if he gets raised, or he knows how to get away from that bottom two pretty easy. <laughs> sure, if you're in position, you might take the pot. If you bet and get called, then you just slow down. Yeah. He's another guy who he's kind of like Will Benson. I mean, yeah, if we're in a pot together, we're in a pot together, and we're going to fight it out. But I'm always keeping in the back of my mind, is there a better spot? You know, you know, if I'm in a if I'm in a hand with this guy, I may be the I may be the goose. Let me double check everything. Let me triple check everything. Okay. Yeah, it's such a situational game. Which is why we all love it. Larry being quiet tonight, man. Uh, you know, we've mentioned a lot of people out there really loving Larry. And he loves poker, too. And he loves being on this stream. He's a guy who's super passionate about all his hobbies, like uh, music. He doesn't just like music a little bit. He has a music studio at his house. He knows rock and roll bands personally, you know. He, uh, he doesn't just like fishing. He's a professional fisherman that's on ESPN. You know, he doesn't he doesn't just like poker. He's gonna be on the Stallions poker show every you know, he is a guy who is super passionate and full on with everything he does in life. And uh you know, just a great guy to be around and play poker with. Yeah, he's easily charged up, but for good reason. <laughs> deuce deuce seven. You know, one mystery hand here could have a deuce in it, but Peter probably feeling like he's got the best hand right now, and he does. Yep, and he bets. I told you Lawrence can get creative, and he has top pair, top kicker. But I'm sure he's thinking what I just said. Maybe I'll get cre a better spot to be creative. Yeah, it's. When you have the overpair and you're blocking sevens full, again, a good spot to put a feeler out there, see where you're at. Larry, you got a joke for this week or what? You ready to tell it? All right. When you want to come out of your shell, let us know. You're ready. Let him win a couple of Larry trying a different tactic. Be quiet today. He won one earlier against me. No way it can last. What's that? Yeah, you can't win one. He stacked me. You stacked the track three. You were going to frame the chips. Early, man. You said you were going to frame the chips. Did you? I didn't. I still don't understand what you're saying. You said you were going to frame the chips when you oh, yeah. took them from Will. Got Stephen Bay is in the chat. 
Steve. Hey, what's what's it on up, here? Steve? Oh, like, yeah, Steve is. Uh, He's like, you saw it, Will, but you don't matter. <laughs> Old time oh, daily oh, dog oh, stallion, oh, and uh, <laughs> he's looking pretty good. He's had some health problems uh, yeah. this last year, but I just saw him the other day, and uh, he he came wheeling in on a wheelchair, and I said, "Steve, you're looking good." He got up and started dancing around the room. <laughs> he's so enthusiastic about everything. And I'm like, "Steve, settle down before you fall and break a hip." And Stephanie and Melina and Will and everybody's I mad at me. So he's asking in the chat if the format had changed because he wasn't hearing the players. And the answer is we got Scott in the booth today. So I'm turning the players down a little bit when Scott's talking. <laughs> but when, they, when they're talking, I'll turn them back up. Yeah, I prefer to hear the players most of the time here. I think it's one of those things I'm going to do the best I can like I do when I'm at the table. If I hear Will or somebody wanting to say something good, then I'm going to try to give them the road. And otherwise, I'm going to try to analyze these guys from the other side. I'll see it later. Three outs. Lawrence has a straight there and takes it down. Will doesn't really have anything to defend with, but I have a feeling these two guys are going to battle it out tonight. Yeah, that won't be the last clash we see. Yeah, I, I realize we, my, uh, my name on the stream is Please Fold. Everyone's folding. Yeah. yeah. I need to get them to change it. We didn't know that. I need to get them to change it to Please Call. <laughs> <laughs> I know for the... Keep folding. Keep folding. I know for me, I mentioned earlier how it's kind of you know, know Will was kind of feeling it out because it's earlier. For me, this feels like a battle or a fight, and it's building up. And everybody's, it's like a boxing I'm match curious. where everybody's just kind of checking and throwing small go, punches go at the beginning. This whole thing. Let's see what, that's what a poker game is really like. That's what it feels like to me when I'm in it, and that's what it seems like now as I'm watching it. I thought I had eight hours. I guarantee you there's going to be sparks between the two Asians tonight. On that one or? And there ain't no <laughs> doubt Larry's going to blow up at some point. I put it in stone dab one time. You can just say your hand could be worse than mine with the wood. Set in your hand. I'm starting to get coached. Larry, Larry's folding so much. Here you go. What are those for? So you can see his cards. Yeah, I know. Uh, I just think he can't hear. I think he can see fine. All right, Sanjeev flops is flush here, and nobody's going to give him any action. That's the thing, folks. You can't just have a hand. you got to have a hand and then have he an opponent have a hand. good hand ten, also. Ten, 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 three. And then kind of squeeze some value out Two. of it. Mine was queen, eight, seven, four, three. <laughs> the clubs. And after that, Sorry. 11th hand. We'll take a look at the statistics here. Pretty early on in the game, obviously, only a half hour in. But please fold up there almost up 2k already rockets will off to a slow start but plenty of stream left more than four hours remaining what do you think of uh that uh italian kid went into the uh aussie oh hot now no. oh it's hot yeah. i didn't see it oh, no. right. he was down two sets yeah. to nothing man no, but he, they, he won it in, yeah. in Australia, though. Australian Open. It was, it's, it's the Australian Open. It's great, yeah. yeah Will, Benson, Benson, and Harry not Benson. only play yeah. high-stakes yeah. cash yeah. games, but they yeah. also play tournaments, and they're, I'm sure they're looking forward to that 150K guaranteed <laughs> pot limit Omaha tournament we have coming up here at Champions. They will both be in it for sure, as will Jolene, most people at this table. Yeah, that's going to be a super fun event. Multiple flights in that one. Check us out. ChampionsClubTX.com. There is a link below the video. Oh, well, this is nice here. Uh, Will, Rockets Will, woke up with Rockets. And uh, is able to get it all in pre-flop. And Harry's got Kings. And so he's going to get a call from, from Harry for sure. And uh, Waters is holding one of Harry's kings. So, yeah, this is going to be a real nice one for Will. 
Huh? Am I thirsty? Yeah, I'm about to get a drink. Well, I didn't want to add on. I was like, literally, I'm going to go all in next hand. Happens. Just got a monster. Yeah, you <coughs> The monster. <laughs> when you're at home, There's you're not thinking about playing this game, this is the type hand that you want to play. What's the total? <laughs> they know. They already knew that one, Will. <laughs> I do like it when you guys table talk while you're playing hands like that. It's, like well, he's, it's giving off some information, but it's also begging for action. Well, I think Will's wanting somebody to think he doesn't have aces. He has a rundown or something and get a call by Harry with his... And it's, I mean, you don't get many great situations in PLO. Heads up. But having, uh, you know, aces against kings heads up is really good. He did not get it here. As you can see, we're all about 25%. No, actually, Will's in a great position here. He's in a great spot because Waters is holding an ace and a king. And uh, Peter's got two sixes in his hand. So I like Will's hand holding up here. Yep. So far, so good. Nobody hit with that sneaky three in their hand. What a great spot. Yeah, um, I think kings get overplayed a lot in Omaha. They didn't hear. Harry just made a call, and I would have called Will here. Uh, and then Peter's just getting, pri you know, Peter got priced in pre-flop once water came. Oh, wow. And water feels good about this flop here because he's got ace queen oh, and wow. backdoor hearts, but... Now Harry gets to. Uh, so normally that's a good flop for. I, know, I didn't even see Water's Queen. I wasn't expecting him to fire off like it. So this is going to be nice. I got to turn the nose. No, you don't, buddy. Yeah, Will, Will's sure that one of these guys has a three because of the, how quickly it bet called. Yeah, they they got all the money in so quick that Will thinks one of them's got a three or a full house. But little does he know. I got you beat. I got King. He is leagues ahead. Right now, should be. I'll do whatever I want. Well, we're just going once on the string. Only once on the string. Only once on the string. Only only once on the string. Okay, yeah. cool. That's, 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 yeah, that's, that's, that makes it water's easy. Water's hand yeah. was just one that was one time. bound to get you in trouble pre-flop, and that's what it did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he wants the lucky hat back. <laughs> <laughs> I if you He's going to need it. He needs it to go hard, hard. There it is. Well, Seriously? Jack could help now, too. Have you seen his hand? Go ahead. Do it. Oh, oh you got to wait for it. Water. Oh. And that's the water. Oh, he gets Unbelievable. it. Unbelievable. Broadway. Lucky hat comes through. Very unlucky for Will. They gave Waters that lucky hand. Scott, thank you. We'll do that. Thank you, Scott. Thanks, Scott. Wow. He was dead to a jack. Harry had a jack. <laughs> nice hand, Waters. Pretty crazy. Scott, Jolene, thank you. That was kind of good against all those. That has. I can't throw my hand away. All right, Dan, I'm going to have to leave you alone in this booth and go get my hat back and <laughs> get a seat in this game. <laughs> There might be a seat open. Wow. <laughs> this happened a half hour ago. Or like 42 minutes ago. Man, uh, Rockets Will could not have, not have found a better spot for his aces with one card to come. And uh, it's not the first time he's had a beat like that. Not even in the last uh, couple of days. He's a PLO player, and that's the way it goes sometimes. Yeah, all you can do is get your money in good. And when you have a hand like that, like Will said, you want to get heads up. It's tough for any hand to hold up four ways in Omaha. You know, even, even when you have the most equity, it's still 37%. You're going to lose 60% of the time. Yeah. No, probably not. I probably would have won the second board. It was in one heart. He had a king, so it would have been one king. Yeah, in most of the games we played, we only go one time. Three. that would have been ran yeah, twice. Okay. Give me Sounds good. I got to get the max. I get changed down there. More pleasure. <laughs> Jack 10 runner. Here, here, I have 2,000 uh, black and yeah, 41. Okay. But it makes for good content, doesn't it? We'll do yeah. <laughs> Max Payne. Let's change up my uh, luck here. There's 2,000. 2,000. Man, it seemed like that hand started a long time ago. 
And uh, Me again. I'm wearing that hat for now on. <laughs> <laughs> I could have thrown away jeans. I know I'm leaving behind. It doesn't do anything for Scott. Not for 800 on the block. No, not. I don't want to. Yeah. Oh, pretty probably good though, dude. Yeah. Right. Pretty good to see Carl. I do yeah. not find it funny though. He's let me borrow the hat and he hits it. Run around. Yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah. And he still has a hat. Bad beats. For sure, the good hand by Waters. You know, I can go borrow a lighter from somebody. That beaver pellet burns. It seems like way down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't even think about burning my hat, Larry. Good player C4. <laughs> so I guess there's two of us stuck the same, right? If anybody's hat needs to be burned, it's Larry. He's wearing an OU hat every week on a, a stream that's supposed to have a Texas feel. I said 100. Yeah. It looks like they're doing. I'm not on the bottom. Looks like they're going to do a hundred dollar straddle. For a round, maybe? <laughs> no, we'll actually raise this one to 100. Okay. We got a limp from Sweater Guy, and then we'll mix it 100. Okay, so this is just going to be one of those hands where everybody looks at it for 100 and see what the flop holds. And Will's got the 9866 this time. Wasn't that one of the hands last time? I think it was. <clears throat> well, this could be a cool hand because uh, I don't think anybody's fro flopped. Broadway, but Jolene has blockers to Broadway, and she has diamonds. So Sanjeev's got the nut diamonds Ooh, and I would... blockers to either side of the straight. So interesting. And then Larry's got a set of jacks. So we could see some fireworks here. I would have liked to see Jolene go ahead and bet at that flop, and then see what Sanjeev would have done. But instead, it looks like he's leading out and going to bluff. And Larry's calling him with the set. And now El Tractor with the top set. Check jam. Which makes sense. He's also blocking diamonds. Yeah, and nobody's scared of Broadway here when you got... <laughs> When you're in a Benson spot, El Tractor, you got top set and you got everybody getting the money in anyway. Uh, it turns out to be a, <laughs> a good check by Jolene. She, right. She, yeah. That's that's me. I would have just fired off into these lunatics and would have got looked up by all of them. <laughs> well, and like you said, Benson's loving this because he's got two ways to beat Broadway. Yeah, and, and right now they all think that Broadway is out there. They all think that Broadway's out there. And right. Sanji's just going to try to draw at diamonds, and Larry's going to try to pair the board, and so is Will. But little does Will know, he's way ahead. He just needs to dodge diamonds and a jack. And he's got two diamonds, and three diamonds are in the muck. Yeah, and Larry's got one diamond, so, yeah, it's he's in really good shape. Yeah. Yeah, he's three of my cowboy hats. And as I said earlier, when I'm in a hand with Will Benson, I always look down and think, man, could I find a better spot? <laughs> Am I the sucker here? And Larry says, no. <laughs> this is the best possible spot. <laughs> Get all my chips in. Yeah, unless we have a miracle two hands in a row, Will Benson is just going to... Win a good pot. Almost 6K. Yeah, 6K pot. <laughs> you know, and this is just the poker player in me. I'm never, although I'm friends with Will and I like him, I'm never rooting for him to win at the table. <laughs> I'm always rooting for the diamond or the jack to come in. Right? I want the chips to be in Larry's hands, really. I need a diamond. Larry and Sanjeev Ooh, were within twenty dollars of each other stack size. <laughs> Just a tiny little side pot here. I don't care if you want to save it. Yeah. Only here in the quarters. Are my diamonds good? I don't think so. Fuck. Will thinks he's screwed. <laughs> he's in such good shape. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I told you. Hmm. You're not screwed at all. Right. You're not that. 
Ooh. St still good. <laughs> still way good. Yeah, what? I'm upset. Diamond. Oh my diamond goodness. Three. Three. Diamond. Oh my goodness. Wow. Hey, I can be Deuce of Diamonds, Sanjeev. From 14% to 100% goes Sanjeev in the nice pot. 6K. So, here's what I'd like to point out. Was that really set over set again? Wow. Set over set versus the nut forever. Here's what I'd like to point out. The last two hands. Nine hand, nine hand. Multi-way to the flop. I got pot submitted there. Wow. And... Yeah. Both times, the pro the was in great position to win all the money. Now, <coughs> it didn't work out. It didn't work out that way. So you kind of like, you can watch this and think, oh. man, PLO is so hard, it's, it's hard to win. But when I watch it, I look at, wow, look how Will Benson got all his money in really, really good there. And look how the hand before... Will Leffingwell got his money in really, really good. Now, they both happen yeah, to lose no, those pots, yeah, but you kind of just got to yeah, forget about that. Right. All you can do is play right, get your money in when you have the equity, yeah. and, you know, over the long haul, you're going to win. Yeah, I mean, that's why they're the pros. The last two hands, they both got their money in really, really, really good, and both of them lost it, and no big deal. Move on to the next hand because 100%. That's life as a PLO player. Dealer change, Giovanna coming out, Eric coming in, two of our best dealers here at Champions Club, and we'll take a look at what promos we have going on right now. We do have the $200 high hand still going on from 9 a.m. to noon and 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. every day. Highest hand of the hour gets 200 extra dollars, and we are the only poker club in Texas with a hotel on site. You can come here and stay and play. If you play for four hours in the cash room, you get a room rate of $69. Play for eight hours. Get your room for free. Champions Club, Houston, Texas, 6440 West Sam Houston Parkway South. Come visit us. Oh, yeah. Nice hotel rooms here. Um, I usually get one when Tia comes with me up here to play. We'll have those rooms rocking upstairs. <laughs> Oh, it's just nice. You know you're going to put in a session, and, you know, do you want to drive home after that? Even if you live here in Houston, it's an hour to get anywhere. You might as well just yeah. stagger upstairs and crash out. It is pretty cool, man. Drive when there's uh, no traffic. We've had it. That You know, we're poker players, and a lot of times, even if we have, like, a date night, and we go out to dinner and a show or something like that, we end up at a poker room, and, and of course, now our poker room to end up at is Champions, because we, be? we could play poker and have a few drinks and, uh, yeah, just go upstairs and sleep it off. Wake up the next morning and jump in a 1-3 Hold'em game. Hey. And some action already. Yeah, and starting now, we're doing breakfast at Champions Club, too. Everybody talks about how great the food here is for dinner. Now we've got breakfast. All right, I like this. There's been too many too many limps for a quarter, and Harry, looking down at single-suited king, said, let me take control of this a little bit. He's going to be out of position, but I just call it uh, first position so he can take control after the flop. Got a haircut with a stream design? No. And when, when you're in early position like that, Scott, do you prefer to to do this where you maybe you can get some players out of there, or maybe you make the pot big enough that you can really fire at it if you hit it hard? Yeah, well, I mean, I'm an aggressive player, and so got down the heads up, Harry. I like playing early position because I'm going to take the lead anyway. Goose. And it looks strong to do it from first position, and it is strong. Look at this. Lawrence flops a. Lawrence plays some uh, uh, 985 deuce kind of raggedy double suited hand and flops a full house. I don't think he's going to get much action, though. Wow. Water is leading out with the uh, gut shot straight draw and. Those fours working for him. Yeah, this is just a straight up bluff by Waters. Uh, I guess a few people check to him. Harry saying, I'm not having this. Now, I thought what we were going to see was Lawrence betting and Harry calling. I think Waters is going to shut it down, though. His Yeah, you see where you're at. 
Yeah. You, if you don't hit your force full, you're not putting any more money in this pot. Yeah, he took a shot at it. Um, he was only one person left after him to act, so he thought he could just bet and everybody would fold. But. Check. And please fold improves to deuces full of nines. But with the action in the hand, the undervote is always scary, so he'll probably just check it down and take the pot. No, looks like he's reaching for chips. Yeah, he's also the top. <laughs> he's probably hoping somebody well, made spades there. <laughs> my what phone's ringing. Oklahoma Larry's calling me. I was the one trapped. No, I, I keep flopping the. I keep flopping nuts. Five two. Five two nine. Keep flopping nuts. This guy is on fire. All skill. All skill. <laughs> Teach Steve to be late again. That scares me. There was two secrets <coughs> between y'all two and, and Steve, and I said, no, you know what? Go. No, Waters and and uh, Lawrence. And I said, whoever's here last is out. And now the two that got here are both up 4,000 each. <laughs> <laughs> Never beg a man to gamble with you. So. Yeah, I wasn't begging him. I was like, we'll get here. Waters with the aces. Ace, ace, King Trey. King Trey is suited. Oh, and please fold with the other two aces. We may have a battle here. Fold, please fold suited to the spades. I don't care. Crap about either one of y'all. Come on, tilt now. Tilt and out. Come on, tilt. Waters pot repotting it to fourteen fifty with the aces. Pot. And please fold repotting with his aces. Forty-seven. Yeah. Uh, how much? Forty-seven two. Right, that's fourteen fifty. That's forty-three fifty plus that. Forty-seven. Forty-three fifty plus four hundred. Forty-seven. Forty-five. Forty-seven. Or is it? Is it more? Forty-three fifty. Yeah, no, plus four hundred. No, that doesn't count. Oh, okay. Sorry. Dude, I feel like this is my first. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, this is. What it's I mean, well. you're the Asian at the table, and you're it's, to... it's. I'm not on. I'm not on, <laughs> on that today. You don't um, have to so was it forty-seven fifty? Yeah. Let's see. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I mean, forty-seven fifty. If y'all are putting that much in, you fold for any amount after that. Go I'm gonna be surprised. Triple. <laughs> that's, that's, 47, that's two players per hand now. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, that was Oklahoma Larry at the. I think I the door. He brought me my hat in, back. But I got one. Well, while that had happened, we've got aces versus aces. Let's see. If, dude, Harry Five bets at 47.50. Harry's no such an iconic way. looking hat. He's got this almost uh, ZZ top of poker type look, you know? Wow. I'm very surprised. Well, almost. I mean, I had very one. Surprised. It was not. It was. If you really thought you were going to If I had no danglers, that was a good I had one little miserable. I know I'm going to hit the end. I mean, there's no question. It's a lot of talk, table talk going on with the hand still in progress. Uh, I think Harry uh, kind of knew this was an aces against wow, aces no, situation, and he was going to just try to get it in with danglers and gamble. <laughs> Almost a 10K pot pre He decided against it. With the hat, I feel like I'm hoping for a chop. Oh. 
Yeah, I wouldn't pull all that money. I'm gonna be sick when I get Oh, they're not all right. Between me and you. Or, 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 sorry, sorry, hold on. Yeah, water's just called. Oh, I missed. Here's some chips. Well, he's got oh, a flush miss. draw, so. He, <laughs> yeah, he has the only he, flush draw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no, he I proposed. Not, I, I wasn't sure in. whether it's okay or not. Has the gut shot to. No, he wanted to say, but it's. It's up to him. No. Okay, okay. That's fine. I'm on. Okay, I can. Here we go. Aces versus aces, who got clubs? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, I was like, what? He's probably got the ace of thousand. You don't have it. I might have the ace of clubs. I do have the ace of clubs. Hey, yeah, uh, can I have a bunch of white rooster? You see her, just have her bring me a Dr. Pepper on height. Both players have yeah, sure. yeah, gut shots to a wheel, and Waters has the clubs going. Waters in a 60 40 favorite. Oh, but my stuff's not good. Is that your two? Oh, I'm in a bad spot. Wow, he's got a big free roll here. This is the hand. Can't do anything here, but. Can you believe? Good oh. question. Hold your nuts. Club. Does this flop you at all? No. Total miss. Good fold. Thank you. Come yeah. on, four. One time. <laughs> I fear the house. I mean, an oh, absolute four, four, four. miss. Yeah, yeah. Club. Oh. Sick of four oh, clubs, baby. Wow. Just said wow. Four. Now, <laughs> water's oh, running hot in the lucky hat. Please not fold. Over at all. You know what Can they win say. it with a board Goose. pair now. Diamond. Ooh. Great. Ooh. That's over. Nice one. Good scoop. How much? Now I know. I, I oh, thank you for Fireman Scott for wearing this beautiful yes. hat for bringing it to that me. The hat is unreal. Get rid of that. Uh, how much such a distraction to the table? <laughs> <laughs> I did say with the hat, I, I think I'm hoping for a chop here. Yeah. So <laughs> and I actually didn't think you had anything. I, did, I got it off. Just the 95. How much? Well, you can buy these Fireman Scott lucky hats <laughs> on the fireandsmokepokergear.com. <laughs> Website. Wow, well, look at this. Water's will <laughs> be up and for sale later this week. <laughs> Hello. Water's and uh, Sanjeev, the only winners right now. It's a bloodbath. So, we had situations where the pros got their money in super, super good and uh, got sucked out on by the gamblers. And then you had a pro get it in. Uh, with the same hand is a gambler. Well, if you guys at home didn't know, I would consider is. please fold Lawrence. I would consider him more of a pro type favorite. player. Rockets win. No, definitely a pro. Will Benson, definitely a pro. Well, you can always double. I'm just trying to win. I might try They've gotten their money in very good in the last few hands and all been sucked out on. That's a great part of PLO. You know, you can you can not be a pro. You can be an amateur and still be successful on any given night. You can beat the hell out of a pro on any given night. It's unlike any other sport or any other game like that. You know, you, you want to know the truth is Sanjeev loves Will. He's probably his favorite poker player in the world. He loves he loves Will. This is a game where you can sit down and play with your favorite pro. And you can beat his ass on a night, you know? It's, 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 this is... The night for the, uh... yeah. yeah, it's definitely pretty cool. I mean, I've said it before on this stream that it, it's kind of a thrill to sit down and play with you guys, you know, bracelet winners. I like to play Omaha. I'm sitting down with two Omaha bracelet winners and usually in a smaller game where I'm not going to get hurt too bad, but it's still fun to be able to sit and play with you guys, and, and that's what's happening here. What a game, man. Now, as earlier, it was a game where, you know, everybody was just Swap feeling things out. I can promise you that the, the gears are going to shift a little bit, and everybody is going to be going for waters, as they should. No, but you might have bet something else somewhere else. Yeah, he's got the chips now. Well, and waters was kind of playing loose at the beginning and gambling a bit, and now that he has a big stack, he should be shifting his focus into more um you know you have something to protect now not you know before it was hey none of us really have anything yet we're all gonna fight it out and see who gets it well now you got it you know now you need to build a wall of defense and play a little bit different strategy the rest of the night and everybody else is going to be coming after him four sanjeev blocking the straight here harry with the nut flush draw about 
And now blocking the straight becomes the straight. And for those of you unfamiliar with Omaha, you still have to play two cards out of your hand here. So even though there's a four-liner on board, you can't just have a jack Locker. in your hand. You have to have yeah. a jack and another Broadway card in order to have that straight. Good hands on. If you didn't have another card from a nine to an eight, you might not have that. Jack, jack, five, five. I would have played it that way, even with a, either way. Very nice hand. I like it. I think we're all stuck, huh? Except for Eddie Nahn, two more. Water. Two more. And uh, Eddie Nahn, two more. if I can find a line for it somewhere with a Houston bookie, I'm going to see if I can, uh, you know, I, I mentioned at one of the streams earlier that I was going to find a line and bet that Rockets Will or myself would back up with another World Series of Poker bracelet this summer. I'm going to find a line where I can bet on that. But I'm going to find... If I can get a line on Sanjeev winning a champion's trophy. I like those wooden champion's trophies that they have in the trophy case as soon as you walk in the door. And uh, I'm thinking Sanjeev's going to win a tournament this series. Yeah, I wouldn't put it past him. I mean, we've seen him on a few of our final table streams, and we see him in the cash streams. He's a solid player. Dirty water. Dirty Every water. series he makes a final table. Yeah. He's tough. He's, he's, he's bound to win one. I'm making a prediction. He's going to have his name on one of those wooden trophies. I hope he gets one of the concrete ones. Those are the bigger ones. <laughs> okay, I didn't know about those. Yeah. <laughs> I believe the main event and the PLO championship and a couple of the other, you know, bigger ones are a uh, little concrete instead of uh, wood. Same shape. Beautiful trophies, though. I do like the, uh, they're very uh, iconic. They kind of match the decor here. Sanjeev, uh, multi-way pot, flops the nut flush draw again and just decides to take the aggressive line and lead out and bet it. I like it. I mentioned earlier, I like to play from early position. And he gets rewarded. His aggression gets rewarded. Yeah, no waiting. He bet the come and it came. Unfortunately, nobody else really has anything to fire back at him. No, it's so oh, wow. Easy. Can I send you? Did you add on some here? It Do felt you? like he had it, and he had it. 100,000. You need to. You want to add on one? Add on one Jolene, a little quiet so far. No, really, no hands, really. Okay. Stayed out of the way. I'm going to add on two more. Looking for her spot. Thank you. Yeah. Peter, a little bit of the Not same. Please fold Lawrence in the nine seat. I mentioned he was a pre pretty creative poker player. He's a pretty creative person too. And uh, he actually has talked to me a couple of times. Now, he's talked to me a couple of times about writing a movie about my life. Now, when you're Fireman Scott, you gotta realize, people tell me what I wanna hear a lot. <laughs> I believe that. <laughs> So he was trying to butter me up into an, in an Omaha game one time. But no, he's serious. The guy's a, t a talented, creative guy, and he's a good writer, and he loves poker. And um, we, are, we have been talking about doing some writing together. And um, I'm glad to see him on the stream. He's been talking to me a couple of times on IG and asking about seats. And so I'm, I'm glad to see him in here tonight. And I hope that one day he gets to... Uh, I might, I might try to, I'm try to get Write that Fireman Scott story. Well, I would, I would love to read it. <coughs> What's the special today? Waters flopping a flush draw on the top pair. Probably gonna bet this. He's got the lucky hat. What is the special? No, he checked it. Shrimp fried rice. 
Uh, rockets wheel with just bottom pair and a backdoor flush draw, but they checked to him. So he decided to fire out of bed and hopefully take it down. It's not going to work though with waters here. Diamond. If it comes a club, Will's going to okay, shut down, but it comes. Yeah, okay. mm, I think it's going to go uh, check. check, check here, yeah. Full house for waters. Can I do uh, the grilled salmon? Um, can I do also like a grilled chicken boy? Pots it. Should be easy for yeah. Will to get away from that. Yeah, he knows. Um, Water's not going to bluff him there. He's and, uh, running good and having it. You know, poker is, I would say poker is, it's 100% skill, but you really, you don't know how the luck's going to run. Sure. You, you know, you don't know how the luck's going to run. So part of the skill is being able to uh, withstand the bad luck and not get out of hand with the good luck. Yeah, in a, in a short session, poker's probably 75% luck and 25% skill, but over the long run, that 25% skill is going to yeah, absolutely. completely alter the situation. Yeah, I always like to tell people... Um, you know, my brother could beat me in any given night of poker, but he could never, ever in a million years beat me in a month of poker. Right. So how much luck is it involved? Is it, I think it's, re it's really just your perception, the way you look at it. That's why I only play with you for an hour or two at a time. <laughs> yeah. I can get you. <laughs> Sanji potting it with kings here. Yeah, early position, single suited, but very connected hand, King King 10 8. Now, Larry called with jacks earlier and was punished by flopping a set of jacks, so he's lets him go this time wisely. <laughs> Lawrence going to call. Yeah, he's got the other two jacks, but his jacks are much more connected and double suited with an ace-high heart draw. Could actually raise with that hand, but he's going to just call. Harry playing the low end of the board. So bad, it's good. <laughs> Harry, this hand's so bad, it's good. I like it. Put it on a t-shirt, brother. And Joe flopping really strong on this one. Top and bottom and a gut shot. Check. And because she hasn't played many hands tonight, and because nobody really has anything good, I think she's just going to take it. Even Sanjeev folds the, other, the over pair immediately. Nice hand, Jolene. Well done. You didn't need an hat not to win. Mm -hmm. You didn't need an hat <laughs> no, to know. win. I don't. <laughs> I don't need a hat. I don't want to irritate. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she's probably the only player at the table that doesn't yeah, want to irritate Larry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm putting a 50 on it. Here, here. Is this my hand? Yes. Yeah. 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 All right. Straddle 50 from Harry. He's ready to gamble. I don't want you to win this one. I mean, uh, Peter's hands. 
probably going in the muck anyway. But. <laughs> I'll try to catch you. Though. All right, stuck. Will with Queens double suited. I almost Raises waited for the against too. the blind fifty. I almost like waited it. for you to get back. Picks up the button. While you're taking your victory lap. We're, we're, yeah, we're no. playing poker over here. All right. What's yeah, Harry got? Yeah, he's going to take his victory lap. He's got a suited king. He, yeah, he'll probably defend here. <laughs> yeah, decides <laughs> to get out of the way this time. time. All right. Hurry up and deal. Then he <laughs> came back and gave it back. He doesn't take a break no, when he's stuck. No. no. I don't think many people do. I wonder what Scott's going to do when I shred that head. <laughs> probably nothing. How are you going to shred it, though? You gonna, like, Again? How are you going to shred it? It's, it's under my skin at this point. Larry, I don't think you, you can shred it. You want to bet on it or what? Bet with your, high. With your, with your own two hands? Nothing bet else? Bet high. No. You want to rip it apart with your own two hands? I don't know. Yeah, well, you want to take this up? Oh, he's got That's a durable looking hat. Larry, man, Larry looks proud to me, man. But, yeah. You know, he's got, uh, no, he doesn't. He has got the old man strength. You know? a durable he's looking like, hat. And determination. Yeah. I don't, and sometimes I, he's going to give it the college try for I don't sure. know about that, but I might have a guitar player hand strength. Yeah. Uh, you could rip it, maybe. I mean, you're strong <coughs> too, you know. Larry could throw it into a wood chipper from 400 yards away. Yeah. I think it's very hard. Just a friendly about like 100 bucks. Yeah. Just want to see Scott's hat get ripped and him come down here an hour later. <laughs> an hour later. An hour later. Mm -hmm. Guys, where's my hat? So rip it about 1030. Well, the guys, the hat is safe in the booth with me now. Larry brought it out here to me earlier. He wants to make sure that him and Nick win every hand tonight, so he entered this hand late. And we've got a graphics error this hand. I believe we're five ways to the flop here. Okay, I was thinking something was up. Yeah, I've got a note here that hand 21 had a little bit of an issue. Now, if you remember a few weeks ago, we had Carlito on the stream, and he was sitting next to Larry, and Larry was, he was getting under Larry's skin, too, as Waters is tonight. Everybody who's next to Larry seems to get under his skin. Well, <laughs> to be fair, Carlito was pretty loud, and Waters is $10,000 winner right now. So, I mean, those are, those are two annoying things. <laughs> I think we're down to three in the hand now. We're trying to catch up on the graphics part of it. That's a hold up. I'm reading one of the cards, I guess. I mean, upstairs. No, it's just like last time, no, that the... I think some cards are not reading it, no. It was Scrabble of the 50s. Scrabble is a big hole. Yeah, it looks like, you know, sometimes in a hand you just got to retrace the action and make sure everything's right before you move forward. Yeah, I'm, I've never been a player on the stream, so you can probably tell more from the player's perspective. It's It, it must be aggravating when it messes up the flow of the action, but well, it, for the for the stream, we try to get it as accurate as we can, so if we miss something, we try to back it up, and that's what these guys are doing right now. And now everything is caught up. Three ways to the turn. And wow. Nobody with a 10. Everybody with Broadway cards. <laughs> Look at this. Everybody hoping to pair the board. Right? Yeah, yeah nobody has clubs here. coming back or what? One more lap. And set of kings probably feels like total man. garbage right now. Sanjeev will take this pot unless somebody bets him out of it. Please fold has the ace of clubs. He's the best shot to Oh, if he's got the ace fire of clubs. Take it. Oh yeah, Lawrence is going to bet this. Yeah, Lawrence is going to bet this. The only problem is he's first. Well, you just you're not going to Lawrence is a guy who's not going to be able to look at himself in the mirror in the morning if he doesn't bet this. And he does. Looks like 1200. 1500. Oh, Danny? I ought to get Danny. the job done. Danny. 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 Huh? Yeah, did yeah, yeah. He's supposed to. He's, he, he played it last week. Right, but he's right. probably going to go out there. Oh, I'll okay. text him. We'll try Good to get player. Him. We'll try to get him 
Good fucking bet. 10, 10 and he gets Sanjeev to fold the best go. hand. That's poker. This is a game of information. We are we are creatures that use tools, and information is the tool in this game. And he had the best information that was available. And what's the point of having the information, having the tool, if you don't know how to use it and you don't actually use it? He had the information, he had the know-how of what to do, and he actually did it, and he won the money. Poker's hard, but he did it good. It is. He was just under the gun. 50's not working for me yet. All right, Waters. You're going to have to come out, sit down at this hand of these. Waters is doing the um, the winner's walk around. <laughs> Send the cards back, guys, so we go on the next hand. Oh, you're trying to give him the jacket? He'll be all right. He's a, he's a, big, he's a big boy. <laughs> you want this jacket that bad? Huh? You want his jacket? Ooh. Is he going to? Oh. Oh, he's, get, whole, he's getting rid of the stink. I thought the whole thing oh, was stink? coming off. Oh. oh. Oh, yeah. Larry wears shorts and Crocs in the winter time. I don't think he needs a jacket from anybody. Only if you wash it. Too nice. Waters. Waters is big winner. He's up trying to <laughs> trying to walk around and not Shut play up. hands. <laughs> That's what I would do. The rest of the players are like, sit your ass down, Waters. <laughs> That's right. Water. All right, Will with a double suited king rundown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes it a hundred. Might have too many people. Gets a call. I had a mirror. I had ace. Waters makes it back in time to look at his dealer button, and he well, does have a suited trouble, ace. Four pairs of he will defend. Yeah, there was a lot of those left. Please fold with the wheel run down and a suited ace as well. Harry got a nice hand. I like the call there. I just got 4,700. 48, oh, 49, yeah. no, so 5,000. Yeah, you know, when you're going against multiple people in a big multi-way pot like this, you want a hand like Harry's where you can hit the nut flush draw or the nut straight. Right. Uh, or, you know, Waters has the button with the nut flush draw. Uh, hands like 9-6-3-deuce, uh, what Oklahoma Larry's okay. holding, and 8-7-7-4 okay. seven, <coughs> seven, what Sanjeev is holding. Those can get you in a lot of trouble. Now, yeah, and we saw please fold. He actually folded uh, Ace two three four on the button, and for that very reason, when you get your straight, somebody has a better straight. You can never have the yeah, nut straight with Ace two three four. Yeah. Now, uh, Will could get in a little bit of trouble with his hand too, but he's a pro and he knows. With that hand, he's going to be able to see where he's at most of the time. He's going to be able to play. Loose diamond. You know, you got the king high flush. Uh, most straights that he makes with the nine eight six, he's going to either know he has the best hand or proceed with caution. And I think wow. this is just a, play. a player Good base. Play. Play there, right? Exactly. He knows Sanjeev would have raised if he had the nut exactly. straight. Exactly. It's the same nut straight on the river. That's what I said. That's some right. some people can get in trouble with they hands, would. but Will is going to know exactly where he's in a, at in a hand like that, <coughs> and he's going to be able to bet and get called by sets, <laughs> even though he doesn't have the nut that straight. That was my first hand to win tonight. So. Um, <laughs> that felt really good. Like get the monkey off my back. Off your back. Yeah. yeah. It's a pretty hand. I know they're they're losing, but I feel like it's a good night for the pros. Every night at a poker table is a good night for the pros, right? I just mean they're playing. It's a good night when the pros are when the pros are, when the pros are playing good. Uh, and they're still getting beat, and they're fighting for their lives. You know, it's making good content. I like watching it. Sure. Side Dan. Yeah, this is my favorite thing, it's poker. Nice. You know, I like football and I like basketball and golf and other other sports, but 
Poker is my passion. It's my favorite game. And uh, Pot Limit Omaha, played by Houston players too, and good ones. Exciting, man. Well, anybody who's watched this stream before knows that. I'll rip that hat too. Everybody gets All right, Will with another suited ace here. All right. Here you go. We will Hundred dollars around the world again, multi-way. Houston heads up. Diamonds for Will. Oh, I wish you think that had safer out there. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? Yeah, Will's got a pair of diamonds, and I mean a diamond draw and a pair of fives. Fifty percent equity in the hand. <laughs> Probably doesn't feel like it, but we can see it. Oh, no, I mean, I think he it checks around to him, and he's got nut diamonds. I feel like he can. he's thinking he can be aggressive and hopefully take it down, and if not... Build a pot for when you get there. Yeah. I need deuce! Diamond! As you saw from the last hand, he's going to know where he's at most of the time, so... What, of those hats? Yeah. Really? I like it. Then I got a one tell pot, so buy the other one for Scott. I think, you know... Just looking at uh, Peter Fry and Will Benson sitting next to each other, man, they're uh, very similar players. Very similar players, but from a different generation. Uh, Will comes from the generation of um, poker players like to be known as good poker players, and everybody knows he's a good poker player. Peter comes from the... I think Peter is just as good... I think he's almost the same type player as Will. Yeah. But Peter's from the era of you're supposed to pretend like you don't know what you're doing. And so he just walks around like I'm confused and I'm just here for fun. But uh, very sharp. Yeah. And so, you know, that's it. You used to not. I guess you could have called the 20. Back in the old days, you weren't supposed to act like you were a good player. You were, if you were a good player, you were supposed to pretend you know, that you weren't. Right, everybody's sharking everybody. Yeah, this is a different era because of social media and, you know, making a name for yourself. That sounds like a win-win. We get the hat torn in. Let's go. 50, 100, 200, what do you want to do? Spoiler alert. 50, 100. Scott will be okay. Scott gets the hat safely returned Larry, to him. Larry, right Larry, will, Larry will pay for it if anything happens. The thing with that hat is it's not the most, it's not cheap, but it's not the most expensive hat in the world. It's like a, I want to say like a $350 hat. Now you can get really expensive ones, sure. a couple thousand dollars, but that hat is rare. When I got it, it was the only one in Houston. There was only two in Texas at the time, one in Houston, one in El Paso. It happened to fit me. It's rare. I don't mind sharing it. I'm not stingy with the cowboy hat, <laughs> but don't rip it up, Larry. Right. We'll switch you out. Will, are you actually complaining because I'm up against I actually counted them almost like you played 10 hands out of 75. Out of 75? Out of 75. No, I mean, you play until you're, until you're winning, and then you just uh, sit yeah. there, take a lap, we're going to go. I'm more worried about the hat than anything else. You don't need to be worried about the hat. And I put my money in the pot, believe me. I know you do. Yeah, We've seen it. You can go on the We've other side and snatch it. No. We need the hat back. Larry, we need the hat back, Larry. He's not going to call unless he has the hat, he says. <laughs> You'll never get those chips without the hat. Sorry, Harry. I was trying to get him in there. I know you wanted to. What'd you have? Top set? Wow. Complete wrap. Wow. <laughs> that was a joke. My favorite so, thing is when you're playing and someone said, I had a complete rap, but they had like a gunner. Right, 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 right. right. Yeah. Sometimes I want to be like, are you joking or are you serious? I feel like more often than not, it's not a rap. Like less than half the time is it actually a rap. I'll say I had a full rap. It's like a triple gutter at Broadway or something. It's the, it's the set of PLO, but right? But you had the image that you had aces. Yeah. Yeah. And just in case they didn't believe you, you could have had to go to I just got a text message from Ambrose. He said, uh, tuned in for a bit to the stream. Love your commentary. You're a natural, bro. 
<laughs> Thank you, Ambrose. Scott needed that. He was his ego was hurting. He wasn't sure how good he was doing. Lawrence. <laughs> he looks scared. <laughs> what to give it to him? Yeah, I've uh sorry. I've always super thought cool. it would be super cool ball. to be in the booth commentating. Yeah. On you, you let him get his stack big enough to where he can get it. Now you're track. doing it. It's you. fine. Man, y'all let my boy Waters win over there, man. He wins every week. What are you talking about? Oh, does he? I've never seen him win when I'm here. Really? He's won every time. Harry with like, aces. Yeah. He's got the ace of hearts. He's going to fire out and take it down without a fight. I'm surprised Anit is picking on me. That's, that's more crazy. <laughs> Come on. Well, we, uh, Waters is surprised that Rockets Wheel is picking no on him tonight. No one's ever going to accuse you of being in there if you're stuck. Usually Larry is the butt of the jokes, but tonight Waters has the chips. So, you know, Will's starting right now, picking at him a little bit, picking at him a little bit, get involved with hands, you know, whatever it takes get you involved. Yeah, no use uh, riling Larry up when he's only got $1,000 in front of him. Yeah. All right, how do we do this? Uh, I got three outs. Here we go. Waters with another pretty nice hand here. Suited ace, couple of tens. Raise it up a little bit. We got to get Ambrose back on one of these live streams. He's fun to play with. I've played pretty uh, high stakes with him the last couple of weekends, long hours. Uh, fun guy to be around. He's been on several of the Hold'em streams, and, you know, he really just started playing Omaha. A little over a year ago, but um, man, put in the work in the hours and turned into quite a player. And um, and I like seeing him on here on the Hold'em streams, too. Dan, I like listening to your commentary. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I like watching the, you know, as I mentioned over and over, I'm a huge fan of Houston poker, so I like Viet Bo, and I like watching the other streams on here. And it's fun. My kids watch it, my wife, everybody. It's on TV all the time in my house. Yeah, you don't need to make the dealer's job easier and just throw in the right amount. Yeah, it's uh, been a very fun change to my career. I've been in poker for a long time, always been interested in broadcasting, <coughs> now getting to do this, poker and broadcasting at the same time. Pretty awesome. Oh, wow. Sanji is going to get in a bad spot here. Yeah, flopping the mirror, El Tractor, re-raised with this rundown and hits it. And this is the kind of hat, hand that you're never going to put him on. Well, I mean, this is going to be another situation where uh, the pro Will Benson is going to get. Happy again. He's in a very good spot. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Why are you at Orson Poo? Let's see, uh, if you're used to playing Hold'em, Maybe you don't think this is a very good spot, but 67% to me, this is <laughs> this is as good as it gets. I'm like, this is a huge spot here. You, yeah. know, you got it, man, 67%. Yeah, I see it a lot on this particular stream. 60-40 is usually where you're going to be. So anytime you're better than that, yeah. you got the nuts. I mean. <laughs> My mistake. You want to see? Yeah. Miss Ma'am? Yeah, and make no mistake at home, folks, Will wasn't sitting there thinking about what to do. He was taking his time, you know, hoping to look a little bit weak so Sanjeev would get all the money in, you know. So, and with a mirror, Sanjeev is going to get it in, you know. Took the aggressive route, bet out, and get it in. Hope the board pairs. But uh, again, like I said, very nice position for uh, Will Benson. What did Will call Sanjeev before this when he introduced it? Did he call him the savior of Houston poker? I missed it. I did not hear that I part. I think that's what he called him, the savior. I, it was a, I, I almost said I love that nickname, but I didn't want to <laughs> interrupt it. I'm going to have to go back and listen to it again, but I think he said Sanjeev, the savior of Houston poker. I love it. Love it. And the tractor's straight gets better. He had the redraw to the nine high, and he's got it. He's also blocking hearts. Yeah. All right. L tractor, full double up through Sanjeev. 
or close enough to yeah, a full double up. Sucks for Sanji to flop a mirror there and <laughs> yeah, go at it, but um, can't, kind of for tough to get away from, especially when you bet out. You're with his equity, he he's getting the right price to call, even though he's behind. Yeah, and that's uh, you know, and that's why Will didn't get too mad when he lost that big hand over he knew, earlier. He knew the the world was eventually going to get right. Yeah, <laughs> and he would get his chips back. Yeah, poker's one of those interesting games where the more you learn about it, the more you realize that there are a lot of situations where you can play perfectly and still lose. And there are also a lot of situations where you can be making a, a plus EV play and your opponent can also be making a plus EV play at the same time. Yeah. And one of you is going to have to have to lose that hand, but if you both keep playing that way over the long haul, you're going to win. Yeah, and that's why, um, you know, and for that reason, that's why... So many um, intangibles that you may not think of right away are the things that are really going to make you or break you as a poker player. You know, your management skills, your your ability to not go on tilt, your ability to only play when you're mentally focused, which means not playing too late of hours or too drunk of hours or, you know, all of those things come into play. Well, Larry's calling and the L tractor oh, no. still stacking <laughs> chips, raising it up to 100. Because it's me. It's me. It's a mystery hand. Nice camera shot of the chips. I like that. And uh, nice jacket, also, Will. Wow. He did it. It only stays cold for like a week or two here in Houston. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. we don't get to wear coats and jackets that often. Right. But in this cold room, you better bring it. Yeah, we uh, we keep it pretty chilly here. The uh, the ACs work pretty good at Champions Club. And Larry will take one down. Move line to winning the hand. I guess that yeah. board makes sense. Well, flopping bottom two gets away Larry, with it. Yeah. How do you do it? What's that? How do you do it? I'm trying to get Larry to make me uh, seven yeah, four of diamonds like your guys' little uh, are... pendants. I, w I want a lapel yeah, pin yeah, for when I suit up. He He's got to get you one, I know. Have to find a way to get it out. Um, I just got a text message from Tattoo Bob. He's in the chat and he said, you better get in there. <laughs> Let me go say hi to him in the chat. Ambrose, Tattoo Bob. All my Houston PLO homies, well, Bob, original stallion, you know, me, me, Will, and Bob are the original stallions, and uh, we need to have Bob on here pretty soon. The problem is, me and him and Will can't all be at the same table at the same time. It'll just cause an, an explosion or a rupture of the time-space continuum, or it's, it's too intimidating. I mean, to, <laughs> not not to just not to just women, but to everybody, you know. Too much testosterone. People will get pregnant just by looking at it. <laughs> okay, Larry. Mm. Let's see if it was that. Uh. <laughs> uh, yeah, these guys know I can't watch poker, talk about poker, and type. In the con in the chat at the same time. I got you covered. You type. I'm not let Larry raise this one up. God, I love Peter's coffee mug behind him. It's got the the fireman Scott mean mug is what we're calling it. My bracelet win mean mug. <coughs> they are also on sale on the fire and smoke poker gear.com <laughs> website. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> None of these items are actually for sale on that website, <laughs> but they will be soon. Right. Nut flush draw for please fold. Seven checks, eight checks. There's a lot of people in this pot, though. I don't know if he's going to fire at this one. Yeah, and there's already a lot of money in there, so yeah. you can wait until you get it and try to win a big pot. A lot of times... When people limp around, you're going to fire at it on the flop to just get some money in the pot. No, he does fire. Yeah, he's going to go it, about it, half pot, 800. And it may just work, yeah. I don't think anybody has anything 
What does Larry have? Larry's got a gut shot Larry, and a pair. He's going to okay. get the rest of his uh, stack in there. Larry has top pair. I did not see that. Wow. <laughs> Man, Lawrence's bet actually almost got through. He would have got a lot of people to fold the king there. Oh, wow. Wow. And Lawrence wow. makes the wheel. That's not the way I expected to get beat. Uh, oh, another yeah, time. it's not the way you're supposed to get beat <laughs> on that particular one, but yeah, um, it's the beauty of this game. The turn in the river that means something. Man, you you, you know you can just beat, you can just look at hands different ways. You know, in Larry's mind right now, he's thinking that he made an excellent call by calling with one pair on the flop. Okay. Wow. Um, <laughs> and that's how he feels that. right now, is that he lost to a gut shot. Right. Um, runner, runner, by the way. <laughs> when, when, I look, when I look at that hand, I don't think uh, Larry made a good call and got unlucky. I think Lawrence made a good, well-thought-out play that sh could have worked a lot of the time and really should have worked. Larry called him really light. And one pair just doesn't hold up much in Omaha. And, right. You know, so in my mind, uh, the best play won that hand right there. Even, yeah. Even though, and I'm not saying Larry didn't make a good call. He did. But it's a, it's a risky call to call with one pair in Omaha. You're not often ahead, and you're not, to, not often going to hold up if you were ahead. Yeah. You, you want to have a multi-way hand or, or multi-draws in your hand. and A pair and a gut shot's just... Not quite enough. You know, and then also he kind of said it himself. He said, that's not the way I was expecting to get beat. Well, Lawrence had multiple ways to beat him. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. That's, Which that's, tells you he was expecting to get beat. Lawrence, you going to come out and play the Champions yeah. Tournament? Why not play the main event here? Yeah. What about um, the PLO? Yeah, for sure. I mean, to be able to, like, drive, like, not that far, you know, and yeah. just play, like, five play times in a week. Guarantee or yeah. a million guarantee is pretty yeah. cool. It's way better than driving to, like, you know, Chips. Oklahoma Chips. or whatever. Yeah, so. For sure. Yeah, no, definitely. I'll probably play each of them, like, three or four times. Jolene, what about you? You're a tournament player. What, on that? I'm you going to play the main event here? play the main event. I don't know. I haven't looked at the, I haven't looked at the there's event. A, there's I'll a 1K of PLO tournament, so. Is a... Should be fun. Got multi, multi <laughs> I, I'm just barely looking in, looking yeah, through the like chat, that. and I see I'm doing yeah, push-ups as we speak. <laughs> nice, push-ups and poker. Yeah, I think the PLO is well. If you want to be a stallion play. someday, <clears throat> you got to put in the work. Most definitely. Yeah, the. Got Poker tournaments they were just talking about during that hand is the Winter Poker Open coming right up here at Champions Club February 2nd through the 19th. That PLO championship will be earlier on in that tournament. Uh, multiple flights starting, I think, February 3rd, 4th, and 5th for those ones. Uh, check Poker Atlas for the full schedule on that. That's a... 150,000 guaranteed PLO championship, $1,100 buy-in. And our main event is going to be a $1,500 buy-in, 1 million guaranteed. And that will be starting February, I believe, 15th is the first day one of that. But check Poker Atlas for the full schedule on that. Multiple flights. Come on down to Champions Club and play those poker tournaments. You will see all of these guys here. We're going to be streaming final tables of a lot of those events, including the ladies' event, the seniors' event, the PLO championship, the main event. So lots yeah. of tournament streams, too, if you like watching those. I'm excited. Uh, I know my wife, the beautiful Tia, is going to be up here doing some interviews. And uh, I think she wants to play a couple of tournaments, too. But she's mostly excited about doing interviews. She's been getting ready for it at home. Awesome. Yeah, so, we're looking forward to that, too. We love having Tia in the room. Often a guest on your guys' <laughs> Stallion stream every Tuesday. Yeah, it's going to be a fun hey series there, for sure. You? If you like what you're hearing, be sure to give us a like and a subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified when we do stream those 
tournament final tables. Obviously, we will estimate when they're going to start, but we won't know for sure because it's a live tournament. Uh, hit that bell so you know when we get started. God bless America. All right, well, Waters, you know, he's just uh, flopped. He's got an over pair and a straight draw, and he's betting at it. And Larry just has a, a pair of tens. And, and a gut shot, yeah. Wow, and defending hardcore. I get it against it, and um, Water's going to win it with a pair of queens. God, I had kings. I would have picked up that plus draw on turn in there. Well, oh. double go. The rich get richer. Yeah. This is a definitely a game of momentum. Sometimes when you're winning, it feels like you can't lose. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, a lot of times when I'm talking to, say, beginning players or one of three players, they're content with playing a game where players just jump in and out, and whoever's in the seat, it doesn't matter. But I try to explain to them poker's more than that. It's about, you know, a game from start to finish. You see it develop. You see who is mad and on tilt because they're losing. You see who is overconfident because they're winning seemingly very easily. And um, you wonder if they're gonna be able to keep that up or hold on to that, or if they're gonna be able to lock it down or, you know, you, everything develops in sort of this, you know, the same way a fight or a battle would. And uh, that's the thing. When you, when you guys are coming out and playing one, three or beginning level poker, and, and it's tough on you. Remember, there's more to it. <laughs> there's more to it. It's, you know, you get, it's a lifelong thing. A lifelong game. Yeah, it's like any other kind of sport, too, that you watch. I mean, it, a football team can be having a bad game, and you can see it. And then they go in at halftime, and they make adjustments, and they come back out, and they, you know, do better. Well, you can do that at the poker game, too. You could be making bad calls. and this playing was, bad and making an adjustment. And this was a spot here where um, Lawrence, uh, please fold, he recognized. So Larry raised preflop. Lawrence recognized Larry's just kind of picking random hands, whatever he's dealt. And so Lawrence decided to make a move and, and raise him preflop with ace, king, queen, nine. Not a super premium, but... Usually the best hand against a random, and Larry does have a random. Nine eight eight six. They picked up a straggler though. And and Sanjeev probably reading the same situation and thinking his king queen nine seven pretty coordinated hand. We'll see okay. what happens. And Sanjeev picks up well, the nut flush draw. Yeah, and and I think this is an, another spot where you're going to see the pro found himself in a good situation. Yeah, flopping triple aces, please fold, can fill up. He's got nine outs to fill up. Yeah, Sanjeev with just the flush draw. I hear a lot around the world uh, from even other poker pros where they talk about PLO is bingo. So I like being in here, being able to commentate and say, look, it's not bingo. The pro is getting himself in a good position over and over and over again. Yeah. It's not really a game of luck. Nice hand. Yeah. And with a one liner on board, amazingly, nobody has a straight here. And they shouldn't because it was three bet pre flop. Nobody should have a five and a wheel card in their hand. He had two pair. Well, I mean, Lawrence, like I said, he recognized Larry was just kind of going off with any four cards, and he picked the hand, took the aggressive line, got the good flop, picked up the straggler, Sanjeev, getting it in there with uh, not that great of a hand, you know, trying to catch something, and worked out well. Get some change next door if you need it. Lorenzo's back. But I'm ready for Larry and Sanjeev to win some pots. Most definitely. And here's that Winter Poker Open we were talking about just a little bit ago. Scan that QR code to see the full schedule. 
and come play with us. 6440 West Sam Houston Parkway South, right here in That's Houston, long. Texas. To be, one million guaranteed main event, over one and a half million in yeah, total guarantees. To oh, I don't think he was going to fold that, those aces in that one. No. Game, so. I'm excited about that extra bounty that Champions is adding to the bounty tournament. $10,000 oh, yeah. value, win yourself season tickets to the Houston Texans, and that includes the seat license. That is awesome. If you are not in Houston, you could sell those seats and get the value from it. If you're here, who wouldn't want that season tickets to the Houston Dude, Texans? Dude, I mean, yeah, I won that bad. I mean, this is a great time to be a, Tex a Texans fan because, you know, the Houston people have been – have been supporting the Texans for a long time through some rough years. And now we finally have a great quarterback and a great coach and a great team. We just made the playoffs and got a playoff win. So what a time to become season ticket holder of the Houston, Texas, Houston Texans. Yeah. I hope I win it. I hope you do too. And I hope you take me to one game. Absolutely, bro. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from Montana, oh, <laughs> so I get to just pick whatever team <laughs> yeah, I like. Yeah. I grew up a Chargers fan, of course, because the Dan Fouts was the quarterback of the Chargers when I was a kid, and my name's Dan Fouts. So. Uh -huh. No relation, but still, you know, when you're a kid, yeah. somebody's got your name. <laughs> well, I mean, I expect it's some... I would, I would expect within the next 10 years, people are going to start naming their kids Fireman Scott. Oh, yeah. It's about that time. Um, nobody with an ace here, right? No aces and only one jack. Look at Waters. Even though he's got the big stack and he's big winner, he's just firing out into the field with just a jack. <laughs> and Sanjeev's calling him with the wrap on a paired board. And he gets there, yeah, makes the straight. Rap gets there, but diamonds get there also. And Sanjeev, non-believer, just fires right out. He's got the ten of diamonds in his hand. I'm going with you on the side. That's just that's just two guys who don't believe each other, and they're just like, you know, one guy really. Sanjeev's like, I don't believe you, and I ain't giving up. You got nothing. It's a new year. the king of diamonds. Yeah, you know, uh, Will knew Sanjeev didn't yeah, have much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, <laughs> you wear me out. Sanjeev, 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 Sanjeev. It's all right. We're all glad we got to see it. That hand was played a little too I unconventionally. I thought it was a real talk player. about. <laughs> right. <laughs> Very rare that somebody's not at least drawing to the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> the savior was like, back off, Waters. You ain't got shit. Yeah, you, got, you had the over and no, yeah, yeah, the guys are uh, talking about overs and unders and sports. There's a big gambling against what you do because it's like I can't like the you'll get the you'll get the over locked up and it's like okay so I'm just getting free rolls for the yeah. rest so I'm like this sucks like the, it's over at halftime yeah know? but you can't win it. yeah I can't win anything well how just about uh can't work I don't get screwed man he looks good doesn't he. Like, I was telling the people at the beginning, like, I was like, man, I like Cam Whitmore like a lot. All in like, in Omaha, and they got well, the Green <laughs> He's forcing Jalen Green to play, Green to play right He's coming back, Harder. yeah. I was very worried about him, but he's, no, he's coming he sees, back. Yeah. Oh, wait, this guy's younger than me. He's more athletic than me. It's good, yeah, it's good, good pressure like, for Step up my game or else I'm going to lose my spot. Did you watch Cam Whitmore in college, or...? Uh, I've seen him a little bit, but just his, uh, you know, you get that mentality. I had no idea who, he, yeah, I don't really watch college. I didn't know who he was, but. Who's this? Wow. Uh, Cam Whitmore, like the Rockets rookie. Rockets rookie. Yeah. Yeah. He, like, he was supposed to be like a top five pick, but then he fell to us because, uh, what, injury or something like that, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, he's, uh, he's looking really good. Rockets are really young right now, right? Huh? Yeah. Four ways to the flop here. Nice hand for Joe. Like King. King, king, queen, queen, but of course, an ace peels right off. Ace magnets. Yeah, we're kind of healthy. Nobody has diamonds. Larry's got top two. Ah, oh, top two, I see that. Fires at it. 
Uh, He'll probably <laughs> go ahead and take it down. I doubt Peter's going to defend with that. Peter's got an ace, but he has all low kickers and no backdoor flush draws or anything. I went to one last year when they played Alabama. It was a lot of fun. It's like a smaller arena, but it's just It's good energy. Loud. Yeah, it's super loud. It feels not like a high school, but it's like, it's, it's nice. It's a nice gym, but it's loud in there. It's what, like 20 bucks or something to go? No, no, man. That was expensive. That was Can't be. Well, that, that was, they're, yeah, they're, they're, they're a top ten. Oh, team. what's the name? Uh, Kelvin, uh, Kelvin uh, Sampson is the coach, right? Yeah, he they're was good. They're good. I might be down. Yeah, that yeah, sounds fun good. just to see how it is. Yeah. Well, I went to their biggest game last year when they played Bama, but now they play like a bunch of. They're they're in the Big Ten or the Big Twelve, so they play a ton of Big Ten. That's not a straddle. That's a These guys are talking about our University yeah, of Houston yeah. Cougars, were a top ten basketball for, uh, team. I'll would, I would be down to go to like a Saturday during the day game. Yeah. The U of H games are like really fun to go to. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, that'd be a two, yeah. two, two top ten matchup. Have to go check that out sometime too. We need to get the guy with the name on the, on the building. <laughs> Hook it up, Larry with a blind raise to 150. <laughs> well, he has a good hand, 5-5-4-4. Five, five, four, four. He would have went all in with that hand anyway. And he probably will. If anybody raises this, he'll have the opportunity to do just that. Waters ain't going nowhere. Nice rundown. King, queen, 10-9. Queen, 10 suited. Uh, Lawrence's hand, I'm not... Please fold's hand, I'm not in love with. But he's... Right now, everybody's just chomping at the bits to get a piece of Oklahoma Larry or Waters. Any kind of double-suited hand <laughs> that you know you're going to probably be able to see for 150 or 100 pre-flop, they're just like, let's go. Right. I feel like we'll, I'm like we'll deal with it after the flop. And the wow, equities run so close in this game, if you don't think anybody's going to raise, you can limp in with almost anything, see a flop, and just get out of the way if you miss. Yeah, especially if you're... Like Lawrence or Will or Will, and uh, you're going to be able to see where you're at and recognize where you're at post-flop. Larry reaching for chips here with a pair of fives. Unbelievable. Ace on board. Look at Larry. Six-way action. <laughs> Look at him, guys. I mean, and, and I've been playing poker with Larry for years. He's one of my really good friends, and look at him. Dude is just nuts. He loves to be in the mix. I mean, it's going to work. I mean, Harry's got an ace, but no two pairs. <laughs> now, Will's got a gut shot and an ace and backdoor clubs. Now, I yeah, thought maybe he was going to, but yeah, it's just not worth it. I was going to tell him the deuce of diamond. You bet 900, what do you want to do? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Larry's so funny. He wants to see the turn. Your cards in the turn are irrelevant, Larry. They don't, they don't mean anything. Don't say give us a turn because you want to see He wants to see if he made a wheel. <laughs> yeah, he, the cards don't actually matter. You want it with your actions. Right. Adding on four. It'd be better and repeatable if you knew that. There'll be no more rabbit hunting for anybody else either. That's fair. Yeah, Larry, he wants to rabbit hunt in situations that it don't really apply. You made a crazy play. I had, I had nothing, but I had a lot of ways. I had a gunshot. I needed to do some diamonds. Deuce of diamonds you, could, you didn't want, promise you. <laughs> deuce of diamonds to chop with Larry. <laughs> the cards on the board and the cards in your hand don't matter if you win the pot and everybody folds. Sage advice from Fireman Scott. If you're out there, write that down. <laughs> Got to just try to win these pots, you know. Right. He he took a chance and played one crazily aggressive, and it worked out. He's got two nines here, and well, one of them's got a suit, and the biggest pot he's ever won on this stream. He won like an over 20k pot was with two nines, all in preflop. And that's your hand, as we all know. Yes. Not typically a great hand in Omaha. So no, <laughs> it's kind of like my, a, my poker hand in Hold'em. Not a great hand, but I love people to see it played. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those where, you know, the guys, Dan Smeek playing the big game. When I was thinking about moving up to the big game, I said, what's a sound piece of advice? What's something different about the big game and the smaller games? And he goes, well, in big Omaha, you don't, want, you don't ever want to get stuck set over set. 
So try not to play too many small pairs. And he goes, I try not to play anything smaller than nines. And Dan was always famous for playing aces, the best you could have. And I said, all right, well, I'll take the worst you can have, two nines. And that was kind of the beginning <laughs> of it. Love it. Well, Sanjeev just smashes this flop here and checks it. Now, Larry might, he's got an open ender to a bad end of the straight. Nah. So serious. And Harry with the blockers to the straight bets. Oh, I didn't <coughs> see that. Okay. Sanjeev now raising it back. Yeah. Unfortunately, when somebody has blockers, you don't want to raise them because the they go away. Right. But he doesn't know this. Yeah. I mean, he's hoping Harry has a set or something. Nice and then. But when you do wow. flop the nut straight wow. in like Omaha, you lobby. definitely you want to get <laughs> as much action as you can while you're ahead because it's almost never the nuts on the river. <laughs> yeah, I did the check raise and got it taken care of right there in the flop. He just had to have the nuts. Serious, Sanjeev. No way, I'm thousand. I mean, we knew you had it when you had it. Perfect flop. You didn't mind. Just want to take it down. Sanjeev picks his spots very well. He he doesn't bluff very often, but when he does bluff, he usually gets it through. As a way to keep me awake and alert. He's creative. He's very creative. Yeah, like when I'm driving, like in the middle of the night, long drive. Turn the AC on. Yeah. Blasted all the way. Great situational the awareness time. too. Just he's he's not going to bluff into certain players and yeah. Yeah, and you know, and I'm not like other people. Like when I say this player's creative, I don't mean I'm not trying to say that he's a bad player in a nice way. I think that being creative is imperative to being a great poker player and. When you have that quality of being creative and it stands out, I notice it a lot and I like to point it out. Even though you might have to tie up a loose end here or a loose end here, that doesn't mean that, you know, sometimes you're, you're good at being disciplined, but you're not creative enough. And sometimes you're too creative and not disciplined enough. Right. And um, so Sanjeev, you know, he's not a professional, uh, but he, poker is his hobby, but he's a... For an amateur who this is his hobby, he's very creative. If this was his profession, I'm, I'm sure he would be hell to deal with. The 7-8 comes in here. Yeah, Joe flops top pair in an open ender against Sanjeev's set of jacks, and she turns the nuts. He knows that she's not going to bet without a big hand, so he's not going to raise her here. He's just going to call and hope the board pairs. Yeah, and Harry... Picks up what seems like a good turn card for his hand. But he's way behind. And recognizes it. And Joe's hand stays good here. See if she can get any more out of Sanjeev. Oh, she only bet 400. Great value bet. Yeah, he's Great got a call value. top set there. Top set. Ah. With a blogger. I didn't think you were going to call anymore. Matt, two seconds. No. Thank you. Very nice hand. Sanjeev, a couple of. It's a lot of dead air without Scott talking here. I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> don't worry, Will. Peace. This kind of peaceful. Stuff I can we got you covered. <laughs> freezing my feet right now. Don't worry, brother. I'm talking over you. I feel like it's as cold up there. No, it's just it's a room at another vents back here. Because um, with all the, the lights made it hot. Oh, yeah, no, that no, makes no, sense. It's like an ice box. I mean, it's better to be too cold than too hot. 
You know, and I talked about it last stream, but uh, this champion series is kind of the, <coughs> the second series of the year. The first tournament series was down in Biloxi, and lots of Hup God, Houston people went down there. But uh, Houston Zone, Champion Zone, Rockets Will, Leffingwell, went down there and won a main event. And he actually chopped it four ways, but that's, that's winning the main event. If they would have played it out, he would have won. 183,000, his second six-figure score in a six-month period. Uh, those of you who are out there aspiring to be tournament poker players, it is a long row to hoe. It is tough. I do it more, although this last two years I've went at it pretty hard. I'm, I play tournaments recreationally. Uh, but guys like who play it professionally, if you t ask them, you know, two tournaments in a six months period is unbelievable. And I, I expect Will to have another big year. He's playing really good and I, you know, I know his plans. I play golf with him, and you know we're best friends, and we talk about it. And he's he's really said he's going to concentrate this year on no limit hold'em, no limit hold'em tournaments, and first tournament right out of the gate, he wins it, right here. Will Benson top set. And um, it looks like Peter has, okay, Peter, who famously loves the little ones, has a heart draw. We, uh, and a gut shot, but immediately Honda. snap folds it when <laughs> when Will Benson bets. Right. You know, um, set over set. You know, Sanji, you've given it some thought here with the Willie nines. Like a dozen times, but and never even he doesn't want to play it. He knows if Will's yeah. betting here, he's probably got top set. I heard back in the day it was pretty chill. What, before, uh, can you <laughs> find a fold <laughs> here? I think you so. can do it, Sanji. Come on, in. Ah. Yeah, he's hoping that El Tractor has yeah. just the ace high flush draw, but yeah, he's I'm, got the set. I'm not an advocate of flopping or uh, flopping middle set and folding one. ever. Only one time though. Yeah, I know. I take him out of the one. Mm. I'll tell you the truth. Let me mind the But I'm not playing on that. In this spot against Will, I thought he might have been able to find a fold, but not. It would have been really hard. Pick up done. And Will picks up more outs. <laughs> nice hand. Yeah. Aces full. Gets it done. Might be good for the high hand. Nope. You got to flop it in Omaha. <laughs> yeah, tough one. Things going the way of the pro, though. Again, that way. You know, and... Really Oklahoma good. Larry down seven now. Yeah. Sanjeev so, down seven. Is the button right? Harry down yeah. almost five. I'm only going out there. All right, guys. We need a comeback <laughs> by Sanjeev, <laughs> Larry, <laughs> and Harry. I'm pretty sure I had pocket six. I'm almost positive. I can't target one person. Uh, Somebody's going to need to knock waters down to size. I'm going to go for everybody. That's right. <laughs> everybody with Sanjeev. I want to do it. Uh, it, he's definitely not locking those chips up. He's still playing, so there's a, there's an opportunity. And Will Benson doesn't need that 5K. He's up, so go get it from him, y'all. What time is it? It's 8:20. Well, but oh, I don't know if it's 8:20. So be an hour behind. Around 9:20 on the stream. So about They're currently trying to figure out time travel. I think. Yeah, two hours. Do six six ten. I'm almost positive. I didn't have a six. I'm sure of that. God, Harry's cool, isn't he? <laughs> All right. Benson with two kings and an ace. Good hand raising it up. I don't think Jolene's going to call with this. No, her ace isn't suited. That nine in the middle kind of doing nothing for the hand. Sanjeev will defend with eight, ten, jack, queen, and the button. So he's got a one gapper, guys, and his gap is in the right spot. It's down there at the bottom. You, you don't want to have like eight, nine, ten, queen, because if you make a straight, you know that you don't want the top part of your gapper to be missing, because if you make a straight, it's going to be a low straight. If you got a, 
If you have a, a card just, missing, there's a bomb like the, the nine is in Sanjeev's hand, you yeah. want it to be on the lower end, not the higher end. That makes sense. If you flop your wrap, you want it to be the top end of the wrap, so not the bottom. Yeah. Not that it matters. Wow, look at this flop for El Tractor. Just top set, not flush draw, no big deal. Easy game. It's a hand too big to bet. Well, now Sanjeev turns a wrap. He's not going to put too much stock in it because there's two flush draws on the board, but he is going to call. Now he's looking for a queen, jack, or ten. That's not a harder spade. But if you could turn off that ringer, it's distracting to the people. Yeah, it's very distracting. Doesn't get there. A safe run out for Will, but he's going to check because a straight did get there. He had kings? Pot control. I do think he was planning on check calling, and he did. Yeah. Another hand, another all in for Sanjeev. Very good hand. Uh, he knew if Sanjeev had a flush draw, which was the likely hand, you know, a bad flush draw. He knew Sanjeev might bluff the river. Um, now, Sanjeev might have actually had a straight draw, five, seven, eight, or something like that. And in that case, Will's just got to check and bite the bullet. But I think in that spot, what Will Benson's hoping is Sanjeev had a busted flush draw or something like that, in which he's not going to pay you off if you bet it. So just check call. Understandable. Brilliantly played, maximum value. Yeah, I mean, you know, and we talked about how things build up and a game develops. As we're seeing this one develop so far, where water's about the same early, got winner early. Kind of locked it down, you know, gets involved every once in a while, but nothing huge. Uh, please fold Lawrence, started out loser, but has been able to crawl out, and I think is winner now. Will Benson started off loser, but is able to crawl out, and is big winner now. And uh, Rockets Will still waiting for his spot. Jolene, Peter, pretty... Even. I mean, I think Jolene's winning, but I mean, their <coughs> their way that they're playing, they're just kind of right moving along on cruise hand, control just, almost. Not tonight. tonight. Let it come to you. <laughs> Been all in three of the last four hands. I think. Water's going to play one here. Now he happens to have the oh, best hand. This is too but he's in first position, small blind. Normally I'd play it. Why play it? El Tractor said it'd be crazy not to play it. Hell yeah, he's got two nines and a suited ace with him. Don't Look at that nuts, homie. Don't do it. In fact, that ought to be a rule. If I'm in the commentating booth and you have two nines, you can't fold. You know, you know I'm going to be making fun of you the rest of the show. I do that with 7-4, so I get it. Well, here's, here's an example of what you were talking about earlier. Uh, Rockets will flops the wrap, but it's the low end of the wrap because his gap is at the top of his hand. hand another all there we go again. Yeah, um, luckily for him, though, he's going to get it in with Sanjeev, who has a set. Right. So he's not against a bigger straight draw or anything. Um, Sanjeev losing several hands in a row. Flops a set. He, he's ready to get it in and hope to hold up. Set up jacks? No. Even okay, then I'm ahead. this hand could go either <laughs> way. Ahead now, but not at the end. I got a big wrap. He'd uh, turn over set Jack D with it again. And it's a coin flip. Back door, not clubs. Okay. 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 Clubs? Okay. 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 Guys, you can just pull your Queen. money back now. Yeah, boy. Got the hearts on me? Now he's got a set. Get 10, 6 of diamonds on. Look at that. Sanjeev finally wins one. 18? 16, 17, 18. Wow, a lot of sets. Good hand. 
hand. Yeah, set every hand. Somebody has guarantee every hand. I've been to that hand. Yeah, like Will would have been to that hand. He'd go set to set jack. I guarantee. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to win. No, I, <laughs> I from the three to the nine. I thought I was Guarantees have been made. I said, okay, you got to set up jack. You can grind it off. Larry not running really well, forgetting about the nights where he's crushed everyone's souls. Poker players have short memories. Yeah. And the way Larry plays, he's either going to win big or lose big. <laughs> he's, there's not much in between. Well, people tell me that they're getting fired from work because they stay up all night watching the stream. They say they love Oklahoma Larry. I believe it. <laughs> I mean... He's got the best stories, the best jokes, plays the best hands. Mine was rare and had, I mean, it was charged. That's not how I like it. But... I would think almost anything you eat here would be great today. No, I just never complain about food. Yeah. I'm just saying the chips take away the flavor. <laughs> Well, there's little ones like Sweater Guy likes. Limps in in early position. Holy cow. It's a well-hidden hand when it hits, but it's a dangerous one also. I like it in high-low a little bit better. Sure. But like I was talking about earlier in the pros, <coughs> that pros know where, they, uh, where they're at in the hand, and if you're playing little cards and you're a good player. You know that you can get away from them if you need to. And uh, I think he flops a little wrap here, doesn't he? Almost a family pot. Eight ways to the flop. And yes, he does flop a little wrap there. He flops a wrap, but uh, Jolene flops uh, a pair of nines, top pair and a flush draw. And uh, Oklahoma Larry is just uh, firing out with a no. pair of sevens and a jack eye flush draw. I think he took so open ender. Larry does? Yeah, six, seven, seven. Oh, okay, I see, I see. Yeah. Seven. Blocking the clubs. But yeah, it's one of those hands that feels like a better hand than it is. You got a couple of six, sevens out there, including El Tractor, who's giving it some thought right now. Oh, yeah, he's got the same 7-6 that Larry has. Jolene, I like your hand. Yeah, somehow the queen high club draw is the best one of the bunch. Yeah, it's, it's not quite good enough of a hand to raise there. Like, if she was to have ace-nine with nut clubs... Then she may go ahead and put in a big raise there, but What's the top pair with a queen high club draw doesn't feel like the greatest hand when you got this many people in it. Yeah, she does make the clubs, but again, probably not going to be super excited about it. She's last act, so, or no, second, I'm sorry, she's got Larry and Sanjeev behind her, but she's going to probably get this for a cheap, yeah, and she's going to win this hand now, even if somebody bets it, she can call. That was a good pot control by her. If she bets it on the turn and somebody has to have the ace, or if Jolene was to bet her queen high flush on the turn and somebody raised her, she'd have to throw her hand away. Right. So she checked it, and now she feels confident that she might get a call, and she does. Wow. Well played again. And I don't know if she wants to be called a pro, but I would call her a pro. Uh, another... Well thought out and great hand played by the pro. Yeah, and Larry really has to call their effort. Checks around yeah. the first time. Yeah. Takes a while to get the button. Oh. I feel bad I haven't been in the chat more, but I am going to need to take a 
little break and go to the little aliens room. Is it supposed to be like 5, 10, 25? Like You're going to have to hold it down. Now, or is it no. Hold it like down, Dan. Well, you may have to do that at some point okay. as well. I can handle it. We're probably going to add a stream like five, five hours is a long time. Okay. Well, this one may be like twice a month on I have a feeling that all the people watching it at home cool. freaking love poker and they're going to be able to <laughs> make it this five out. hours. Dude, sometimes I'll get home after playing this stream. That's not usually the watch. And I'll watch all no, five no. hours. <laughs> no, usually? Watch all five hours. I thought I may have seen it. This guy went twice. We've done it twice on the other big one. Oh, the big one? Okay, maybe that's the one that I watched. Okay. Sanjeev playing uh, Peter Fry style, likes the little ones. He's got He's sitting over there. I mean, I snap called Sanjeev there, Scott, just as quick as he, but I almost beat him in the dead fight. <laughs> so, uh, a raised pre flop, I'm going to get lots of action. Larry in there with your hand, and he wants you to know for sure. Yes. Will with a suited ace in late position. Harry with a suited ace. Peter with two tens, the best hand in poker, king ten. Rainbow board. All suits were covered. King seven is top two for Harry. He's oh, pot yeah. It. Nice flop, or, Harry. Uh, mirror, he's got the king seven three. Yeah. And um, I don't think he's going to get any resistance. 12-10, I thought you said. Yeah, yeah, everything's rounding up to a quarter. Yeah, there isn't a whole lot out there. I mean, Sanjeev's got backdoor hearts and a gut shot. I don't see anything else out there, really. Yeah, he's probably going to take this down with top two pair. And, you know, top two pair is one that doesn't hold up a lot in Omaha. But this board is not draw heavy at all. Right. And you do have an ace, so you have an over card with it, too. Oh, and he doesn't just have top two. He's got a mirror. Yeah, top three. Yeah, you're never supposed to have three pair on that particular board. But yeah, <laughs> he's in the small blind and gets really lucky there. Yeah, nice hand, Harry. Not much left to have. I need a ten of diamonds. Yeah, what am I going to do with that? I'm definitely going to bet it. Nothing else I can do with it. Water, see, they need to get Harry drinking for one. Bobby Fillet in the chat says sometimes he watches your, your stream and then rewatches it again ten hours in a row. Oh hell yeah! Thank you, Bobby. Man, that guy loves poker. <laughs> he, he really does. Yeah, I mean he's passionate. You guys, when I was talking about checking out all these Instagrams earlier. No kidding. Y'all should go check Bobby Flays. I watch his Instagram story. It's at the top of my uh, story oh, real sweet. list all of the time. Uh, he's puts a lot of like David Goggins motivational stuff, stuff that you need if you're if you're planning on starting a career in poker. I can tell you it's gonna be difficult. So don't even start it thinking it's not gonna be. And when you know it's difficult, you got to do things like that, like. Work out and and listen it's to motivational just, speeches and, and keep yourself pumped up and motivated because so times are going to get hard. And Bobby Fillet, uh, he does that on his Instagram. He's a true fan of poker. I, I love the kid. Is that what I love the guy. I'm sorry. I don't even know how old you are, buddy. It's not. It's not. I, I think I'm becoming an old man. I'm a grandfather now. I call everybody kid. I'm, I feel the same way. Seem to be stronger. And after listening to what you just said, I can I, now I know why I'm such a bad poker player. <laughs> I am not David Goggins in any shape or form. <laughs> well, um, but I do love the game. There's this uh, this new bit of science that's kind of been discovered recently that I thought was pretty interesting that I'll share with you. There's a, and I can't remember the name of it, but there's a part of the brain, not the Abdullah Amlagata or the cerebellum, but some name like that. There's a part of the brain, and it actually grows when you do things that you don't want to do. It actually gets bigger. So if you don't enjoy doing yoga or working out or something, but you make yourself do it even though you don't want to, it grows. And that is also looking like it's kind of a mirror of a lifeline for us. And I just think it helps you in poker if you do things that you don't want to do, like 
things that are good for you like meditating and taking ice baths and doing yoga and trying to slow things down, uh, sleep well at night, read, study, all the right things you do that you need to do to be a professional athlete or a prof professional game or whatever you want to call yourself. Um, I think if you off the felt, you have to practice and, and work on those things. And um, Bobby Fillet gets it. He's, he's a, a guy who I think is putting in his work. Well, he seems to do pretty well here. He's two for two on our stream, and it sounds like he's trying to challenge you guys. He wants to come down and play your PLO stream one of these days. Okay. Hell yeah. We'll get you a seat, brother. I'll give it a try. That's the least of our problems. We can't be water. You know who I'm missing on the stream, and we got to get back on here, is Eddie Murphy. Oh, yeah. We, we love Eddie Murphy on the stream for sure. Uh, I mean, he can be a little bit quiet at times, but uh, one of my of best friends. And, uh, I love having him on the stream. I mean, I play with Eddie several I'm days a week. Up stream. I like it. I didn't want to take it. Dressed up like nice. most of these guys. Yeah, it's a family show. He's a working man and can't make all of them. Yeah, I always got a basketball jersey on. Another blind raise from Larry after a $50 straddle from Sanjeev. This will be 150 to go. Oh, yeah, Larry's full-out gamble mode now. I wish. So the opportunities are going to be there for those of those players who are stuck, like Rockets will. Uh, the, he's going to have an opportunity to get his money back, and he knows that. Now, the opportunity to get it back from Waters is drawing slim. Not on this hand. Because he's up walking away from the table. Sweater guy with his <coughs> little ones like he likes. Little rundown. Yeah, Peter said he likes little ones like his wife. <laughs> Joe's got a suited ace. She'll get in there. And we'll see a flop four ways. Larry would not have had hand a blind race with. He's got jacks. If, uh, he's got two suits. Uh, Biloxi, if I was wearing a jersey, I, I probably was. Yeah, I'm trying to remember which one. Sweater guy with the gut shot and a pair. It might have been the it might have been the Brooklyn Harlem one. You were in Biloxi? Oh, Maxi. I was, yeah. Checks to Larry, and he's gonna yeah. fire with those jacks. Why were, not? Did, were you the one who said something about like about Embiid or something? And then I was like, it's. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, I could see the look on oh, okay, yeah, Peter's yeah, yeah, face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Peter only has bottom pair. I mean, I like him. I, I want an board. Embiid one, but, but Maxi, he's cool. Maxi with that ball. He felt, no, he felt no, suspicious just, uh, about that. You know, he's up right. and coming, so I had to... Yeah. Some yeah, yeah and so nobody really has anything to defend with. Sanjeev again oh, with no. a gut yeah, shot. No. Oh, he's got a pair right after scored seven and a gut threes. shot. Yeah, he's gonna try he's it out. Luka. Luka. Well, Back I mean, I think yeah. he's Three thinking the same three. thing Larry is thinking. It feels suspicious. I don't think anyone can ever score 100. Yeah. yeah. I think Top two now for Sanjeev. They've been, yeah, they've been uh, like sorry, writing sorry, articles about that recently. Like, could somebody do well, that again? The, 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 the rules have changed. <laughs> and the check mark, by the way. I think it, well, the thing is, someone might oh, shoot 25, man. 20, 30 free throws in a game. So. Yeah. Sanjeev really went, went ahead and bet it. it. Happened once, so, I mean, Larry has the blockers. <laughs> I think it would have worked better if Sanjeev would have so just checked. Because like, Larry would have been forced to bet the blockers on the turn. It was like the anniversary of that the other day. So maybe that's why they were all. Sanjeev just, I think he may feel like he's bluffing here. Bluffing with the best hand, yeah. And Larry just doesn't have enough to push him off, and he can't. He can't rejam. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we can see the cards. I mean, they you keep know, talking about it. Um, mid court when you're at the table and you can't see the cards. I think the main thing now is like they need the guys who are good enough to score a hundred. They're not going to let him play that many minutes. You know, it's hard to piece out what the other guy has. You just, I'm going to take the aggressive route, and maybe it'll work, and it does there. But if you score 100, it, it shouldn't be close, but it could be, because some of those games were still close. I, mean, they, I think the Luka one was close. Where we, it was 150, like 140 to 140. I mean, mm -hmm. that's crazy. Yeah, I think the Luka one, yeah, the they won in the last minute, actually. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. It's like All-Star Weekend. Yeah. It's like the Hawks. Yeah, sports is kind of the... Uh, sports and sports betting is mostly talked about at the table. Is the subject most... Discussed at the oh, poker table. Sure. Gamblers awesome like to be betting. Bit, Especially yeah. now with playoff football and, you know, <laughs> everybody's a Taylor Swift fan. So. 
one Super Bowl left, and then we get a nice little break. We can watch nothing but poker until spring training. There you go. I'm just kidding. I mean, we, got the, we got the we got the Rockets right out now. there, and you know, there's it's just playoff five, basketball. Five teams I, can win at I mean, uh, uh, early season yeah. basketball isn't as exciting. Like LeBron and Steph, they're both like yeah. It's, to me, it's kind of like now. baseball. It's just really too many games. Yeah, it's it's over. It's definitely over. I mean, unless they team up or something like that. Three ways to the flop. Seeing Sanjeev with an open ender. Jokic team up or that was top pair for please fold. Uh, clubs get there. So I was going to say clubs get there, so if he acts a little nervous about this hand, Lawrence might steal it from him. But Sanji makes three deuces. So. Wow, deuces full of sevens, bottom full. Yeah, he. Well. And I bet it in the middle of the season. They weren't that big a favorite in the middle of the season. But with it checking around, one game and don't feel too bad about it. I watched that Denver guy play a game. You know, yeah, Lawrence had a queen, thinking ace queen might be the best thing. Yeah, the bet was just small enough that he had to kind of peel it off there. Yeah, it was the best thing on the turn. Where was she from? Nice value on the river by Sanjeev. You know, that makes a few hands where. Sanjeev's bet in spots that seemed a little crazy, you know, that I probably wouldn't have bet, that, but they worked out for him. Yeah, that thin value on the river has, you know, made him an extra $600 at the end of the night. That really adds up, that three extra 300 here, here, and here. Well, you know. that's something that I really pride myself on is being able, you know, I know where I'm at in my hand and I can value bet it. Um, I was not expecting... Sanjeev to do it in a spot like that where there's clubs on the board and you don't have the yeah, best full house, you know. Like but claim. he's done it and it, it worked. You know, I think they made a mistake by making Waters take the hat off. He hadn't played a hand since then. He's lost his confidence. You, you know, sometimes you got to let the guy build up and think he's invincible. Right. They should have let him keep that cat that hat on. Well, or he might have every chip on the table if he was still wearing that hat. That's true. Will <laughs> with a super premium, I love it. Yeah, that's a great looking hand there. Double eight, suited. Yeah, eight, nine, ten, jack, double suited, and he's got the button. And Larry got ace, ace, jack, jack. One of the same suits that Will has. So Wow, look at all these hands. We're gonna see some uh, fireworks here. I'm gonna get drunk. It's not in the building. It's heavy somewhere around here. It's not in the building. If I lose this hand, I'm I believe him. <laughs> Water said he'd call so this one if he had your hat. I believe him. And I also believe he's gonna fold. Yeah. For the stream! There we go. Very even equities here. Sacrificing himself. <laughs> Sanjeev played? Oh, wow, he did. I didn't see that. Yeah, and he's got a double-suited hand as well. Ace, queen, deuce, four. Double-suited. Well, could be anybody's. <laughs> so, Will's got the clubs. Larry's got the spades, and Sanjeev's got the hearts and diamonds. Can I take 50 from the back? Huh? Here, here. Can you give it to me? Is that okay? All one pot. 50, yeah. There we go. All right, you got 150 coming back. Mm -hmm. Are you in play with your 50? Here, I got it. You want to bet it comes five high all red? You need some more. I think you want to bet it comes five high all red? Uh, you're a small Sanjeev guy. would love it if it was five high all red. Will Larry be able to make a hand hold? He actually has it this time. How much more does Sanjeev have? Do you care if I get 3,000 more from him? <laughs> Let's put a black. Seven. Yep, there it is. Great flop for Sanjeev. Let's see. Will needs a queen, a black queen. Six. Wow. Yeah. 
<laughs> Larry says, Larry thinks that that's unbelievable. It does suck, Larry, but it's not that unbelievable. Y'all are all about even pre flop. I saw it. In fact, y'all are all exactly even. Yeah, Larry was a 1% favorite. <laughs> Real bad <five> <laughs> sometimes it Sometimes it feels like your ace is, is the best hand and it should win, but. It it's not really the best hand. <laughs> it's just one pair until the end. Yeah. And with that, another look at the leaderboard. Larry now way down. Needing some better luck coming here. Waters continues to grow his stack. Almost 12K green now. El Tractor creeping up there as well. 8730 in the green. Please fold and Joe also winning. Rockets will need some help. Took another hit there. Yeah. Um, will unable to get anything going tonight. Uh, he had a good weekend though. I know that. Play till we run out of money. You're going to be here. He can spin up his. He can spin up his ten dollars. No, he is what? Eleven. Tom, you put the five. Nine. I'm going to top seven dollars. He's quartering? Until now. Let's see if Will can get back on the winning track. I, I, I expect him and Peter to eventually start winning some pots. This corner's been pretty cold. Will Benson's been able to get winner. Jolene's been winner. Yeah, and sometimes it just runs like that. Sometimes you have a streak, you just can't make it make anything work. Believe me, I know it, brother. I was I played in some really good games lately, pretty high stakes, and watching. It felt like I was watching the donkeys around me win, and I couldn't do anything about it. That's just the way it goes. Right. Everybody's got to have their turn to win. But. Uh, Rockets will be okay. Another run down here. Or no, I'm sorry. Suited ace, king 10-3 though. Yeah. Huh. Nice hand. It's a hundred. One hundred American. It should be flops. So 24-7. I kind of put you on aces on that hand. Yeah. All right, everybody, pretty similar hands here. Very flop defendant, dependent. It's going to come all diamonds and shut down all action, except for Jolene has the ace of diamonds. So she ain't going to let him win that one. Yeah, please fold's going to fire out here with top pair. He has one diamond in his hand. If she goes ahead and raises him here, the hand will be over. It'll be shut down. Not that much money. Well, that's the thing too. Is I was about to about to say if she raises them here, there's not much money, and he, Lawrence doesn't have anything. It's going to be over. But also, when you have the dry guy, if you look out there sometimes and you yes, see there's not much money, you just say, ah, right. it's yeah, it's not worth even taking this one. I'll just let him have it. Yeah. Your fear is the other guy's got the king high and he's going to call you every street. You know. So. But I kind of like when the pot when the pot is small on the flop like that, and I have the dry guy because that gives you an opportunity to like check out your opponent's stack and really do a you know play a little bit of art here. Let let's get this guy to call me a couple of streets and then fold the river because I know he doesn't have the nuts. You know, right? You, you want to put your what you're hoping is they don't have a flush and they're calling you down every street. What you're hoping is they have like a set in their hand and that they call you on the flop and then they call you on the turn and then you move all in on the river and they fold. But it's risky. You know? right. And so if you're Jolene and you're already winner and the pot's small and the player you're involved with is Lawrence and he's already, but you know, he's already leading out into it and you have the ace so you know he's already trying to get creative. Right. So she thought there, now nah, let me just let him have this yeah, $400. 500 in the behind. middle, just yeah. let it go. Yeah. Sweater guy away from the table and would have woken up with aces. Well, they're too big for him anyway. Yeah. Rockets will, we'll get the jacks and raise it up. 
my last chance to try to win a hand without Larry in it. Yeah. <laughs> Waters, <laughs> double suited hand coming out of the cave. That's why you want Larry in there. And please fold with a rundown. Going to defend. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, like it. No gaps in that one. I think you came in third place in the last one, didn't you? No, I came in second place. You came in third place. Still a little bit, you know, an eight high rundown against multiple people. Still got to be careful. Oh, yeah. But again, another flop that's kind of an action killer. I'm going to take a quick break, Dan. Oh, I like it. Will's just going to take this down with his jacks, play aggressive, and win a pot. All right, I'm going to take a quick break. You, you, you got this on your own, Dan. I'll I got see you, you guys soon. Wow. Okay, you go. give me 20. <laughs> wow. I told you, me and Sanji are going to have a talk. Sanji, so let me get more change, actually. Let me get those greens. <laughs> I like the way you do it. <laughs> I like the way you do it. Yeah. Yep, you are right. 100 extra. You are right. Yeah, black. Rockets is going to take a stab at this one with the overpair. Deuce! Diamond! All right, Decorous. now we're out. Yes, we want a hand. Let's go. Let me get some bread if you don't mind, please. Thank you. Well, you did only look at one, right? Huh? You only looked at one at the beginning. Well, at the beginning. Right. I still haven't looked. I only looked at one. <laughs> no, I had, I had a four. Yeah. I just thought it would look really unbelievable if I just kept betting. No, I knew you eventually. I knew you eventually looked at your cards. But. I had aces. So... That would be crazy if you did. I mean, that's never looking at one. It was a nine, the card I looked at. I thought it was above an eight. I did not have a card above an eight, actually. And you were in that hand. Eight, seven, six, five. The, the best non nine. The, the nut eight high? The, yeah, the, the nut non nine or higher. Oh Will's going to open another one. Ace King, 5 3, suited King. Six ways to the flop. That's good. I was holding it. Reach again. Goose! Harry flops the wheel. There is a better straight possible, but nobody has it. Now that Peter's out, I can call all the little ones out there. Will's got top two pair, and the wheel draw. He makes the call. Backdoor hearts. Diamond. And Larry's got a gut shot to a bigger straight. First heart gets there. Rockets will picking up some outs. Harry still in the lead with the wheel, and he bets 14. Will's going to get him in there. You got anything? I don't have much. I have to turn the hard draw. I got two pair of hard draw. I, I got the straight. What? Are we only going once? Yeah. I just want to pull them, dude. Shit. Okay. One time. You ready? Harry well in the lead Ooh. here, and he holds up. I hope I was great. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 actually, I, 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 I
would have been nice. Oh, <laughs> ran into somebody on till. <laughs> lucky for that to hold up the way I run it. Is, the stream has not been good for me. But that was pretty good. Okay. And Will just trying to make something happen there. Just cannot catch a run out. Say to Scott, is that is not the way Phil Ivey would have played that played that hand. <laughs> played what hand? The one you just played. Yeah, he would have. The one I just played? Mm -hmm. Probably would have. The game's too small for him. It's not going to fall top two and up on a flush roll. No. <laughs> for that amount of money. Usually. Let's see, I'm the next one. The reason I say this is because I feel like I'd played it, he'd have won. <laughs> Seven. Phil Ivey probably wouldn't play this game. <laughs> I call. I call. Oh, yeah. Nine, four, six, five, six, five, six, five, six, five. He's a Jedi I'm mind screw the deck into putting whatever he needed out there. Yeah. <laughs> Rockets will pot in this one. Taking a stand. Double suited. King five deuce four. Not the best hand to do this with, but he's short stacked and trying to make something happen here. Diamond. Seventy five. We knew one. Got a lot of fold spots on this floor. Everyone's doing it. Three seventy five. Fold equity. I think that's what that's called. Six ways to the flop, so Will with an opportunity to greatly increase that stack. And of the there hands we can see, points. he does have the best equity. We do have one, this isn't one, of them. <laughs> this isn't one of them. mystery hand in the sweater guy. Top set for Oklahoma Larry. Nut flush draw for Harry. John Lee, John Lee. Will's got backdoor clubs working for him. And I don't think he's going anywhere. He's only got a couple hundred left. Pot. And Larry's reaching for raising chips. In the pot. Here in the middle, twenty-two fifty. So how much can I make it total? Twenty-two fifty. Yeah. You can go in. You can go in. Right? I'm all in. <laughs> Thank you for making it. Larry <laughs> pots it, gets it all in there. Twenty-two fifty minus one. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm joking. You're fine. You're fine. Twenty-one thirty-five. Well, I can't fold either. I'm all in, also. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> Excuse your French. Sorry. How much? Is it? Edit that out. Yeah, I know, but. Twenty-one thirty-five. I don't want the deuce of diamonds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm all in. I'm all in. I'm all in. Come on, I don't want the deuce of diamonds. It's all in. <laughs> Just put the all in on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's the word. At four. All right, let's take my Flush draw on it. Straight draw. And the nut flush. I can't fold. I mean, I fold that. I mean, if I fold that, I'm not going. All right, I'll let y'all do your side pop first. I might just mug. 
Yes. Look at that great draw, too. I mean, what am I going to fold? I can't fold. I mean, go ahead, take it. Uh, I guess we're going once. We only go once on the stream here. Yes, he knows. Yep, that's correct. Okay. Y'all turn them over. We're all in, right? I need running clubs. Well, y'all are going first. I'm going to let y'all do your side pods. Okay. Your side pods just as big as I needed a six to make my straight. The yeah. Oh, baby. No. No waiting. Diamonds get there on the turn. Larry still has a chance here, though, with top set. And he will fill up on the river. Larry tripling up. A little better than that with the six-way action pre-flop. you got to be kidding me. Get in. Cool. I think Larry. John, can you get me chips? Yeah. I want you to go because <laughs> I know you're lucky. That's amazing. Oh, yeah, when I think of... Uh, what's All those pair cards. <laughs> hmm. Would have been a nice one. Would have been a nice one. Hey everyone, Brian here from Champions Club Texas, hoping you all had a wonderful New Year's and hoping you have a great year to come. I'm here today to talk about our Winter Poker Open. It's going to kick off February 2nd and run through the 19th. We're going to open up this series with a one-day 50k guarantee monster stack event. We're going to follow that right up with our 1100 buy-in 150k guarantee PLO Championship. Also on the schedule, 300,000 guaranteed mystery bounty with a top bounty prize of $25,000. And Champions Club Texas is going to add a special bounty of 10K uh, valued 10K prize there. Also on the schedule, we promised the ladies an event. We're going to do one for you. We're going to add 5K to your prize pool. Seniors, we promised you an event. We're going to add 5K to your prize pool. We have a mixed game series with six different mixed games, and the winner of each of those are going to play for a tournament of champions worth $5,000. The premier event, $1 million guaranteed, $1,500 buy-in, main event. You can check us out on Poker Atlas, look at all the structures, look at all the schedule, keep your eye on all your favorite social media platforms. Once again, Champions Cup Texas Winter Poker Open, February 2nd through the 19th. 6440 West, Sam Houston Parkway South, right here in Houston. And that 10K added prize that he was talking about is season tickets to the Houston Texans included seat license. So you can sell that if you are not a Houston person. But, man, what a great prize. And that's just added to the prize pool from Champions Club. Lots of added money for this series. Nobody's selling those tickets. If they do, I'll buy them. If I've just gone bust, I'll get Will to buy them for me. <laughs> if he goes bust tonight, we'll get Oklahoma Larry to buy them for us. There you go. We actually, we need a better manager. Stephanie became a flight attendant, but we need somebody to go out there and basically get st stallion season tickets. We need four, because me, Bob, and Will, and one guest always. We need basically stallion season tickets to not only the Texans, but the Astros, Rockets, everybody. Sure, why not? Yeah, I mean, so that way we could always take one guest along with us. Yeah, poker ambassadors, bring in the players, go to the games. And we can't go to every game, so we'll give some of them away to our, you know, our fans and stuff. Yeah, we got to make this happen. I'm all for it. All right, another $100 pre-flop. Houston heads up. Bomb pot. Everybody got John random really cards. Um, just glancing oh, over no. everything. I like Sam Peter and uh, Lawrence's hands. Only one hand in the muck. Peter flops a set of sixes. Oh, two hands in the muck. John, give me some and a flush draw. <laughs> Peter's got a set and a flush draw. Harry's got a small flush draw. Slightly better flush draw, but probably not feeling good about a nine high flush draw. Yeah. You know, and Will talks about it sometimes too. 
about how in Omaha, you know, Houston, Omaha, you can get like five to one, six to one on your money sometimes. It can be treated like a just a casino game by a lot of people, you know. And when you can just come in and sit down in a game where everybody puts in a hundred or two hundred pre flop. Yeah. Look. It feels very gambly. It scratches the gambly bone for for a lot of people, you know. (coughs) Which is cool because for a lot of people who are just wanting to gamble and see what the flop comes. Well, it works out well because that's not really putting a lot of pressure on any pros like Will or anybody. So once they see the flop, and now you got (laughs) post-flop play coming into play, it's going to favor the the pros big time. You know? Sure, that's where the skill comes into the game. Yeah, most of the amateur guys are going to get stuck for their whole stacks with bottom sets and bad flush draws and bad straight draws and bad two pairs. Right. And the pros are going to not do that. And then the pros are also going to be able to see when their hand is slightly, although not the nuts, but slightly better than their other than their opponents and squeeze value out of it in spots. Yeah, you're never a six to one dog pre flop in this game. So you can always see the flop. <laughs> you know, and people always hear and you you know traditional wisdom that aggression Aggression is rewarded in poker. Well in a game where everything is fifty fifty and you're looking for edges everywhere, aggression becomes superpower in that one, you know. Sure. You can be aggressive and no limit hold them with six, seven suited all you want, but if the other guy has aces, your aggression is not going to serve you well. Well, in this game, where everybody's pretty equal and you're aggressive, you're going to get a lot of folds. Even You're going to get a lot of people who even have better hands than you to fold. And when they do make the call, you're only a 60-40 dog. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Rolling your cards over, you know? Yeah, it's not like you start dragging yeah, them out. Yeah, yeah. No. What a beautiful game. God. Truck. Sweater guy with top hair and a wrap. I like it. Broadway now for Please Fold. Sweater guy making the worst s- straight here. Oh, wow, yeah. Nobody with uh, spades or hearts. Sanjeev does have the draw guy for the spade side. But if there's any bet here, he's unlikely to continue. Yeah, I think the only battle you may see here is between Lawrence and Peter. And unfortunately, it made Peter straight, but not the best straight. And... He does have outs, though, because he's got kings and jacks along with his straight. So if the board pairs. Yeah, and that's why. If he didn't have those two pair, he might not even call that. And also, you know, Peter's just not excited about this. He knows there's better spots on the table. But, you know, you got a straight and two pair. And Lawrence is capable of bluffing. And it looks like the, oh, there we go. I was going to say the graphics seem to be behind because there is a river out there. Yeah, and there we go. As I thought, Peter went ahead and let it go. You, one of those you you hate to let it go on the turn. What is this loose but stuff out here? He wasn't crazy about it. Hmm? Yeah, did he make some it makes a correct fold on the river. All right, make me some too. I'll get it. <coughs> I'll get five of these. You've got a guy that's. I think Larry turned his mic off, and now he's telling a story. <laughs> oh, his microphone's off? That sounds like it, because he's pretty loud, and he's quieter than anybody right now. Yeah. <laughs> Anticipation's killing me. <laughs> he's a showman. Well, you should be last. He put the 50. Oh. Larry with a suited ace. Not the greatest looking hand, but he's not going to go anywhere with that. So this guy I've seen in the countryside, and the car breaks down, and the closest thing is the farmhouse. He goes up and knocks on the door, and he tells the guy, he says, my car broke down, it's getting to be dark, I don't have 
any way to do anything. And the guy says, well, you're welcome to stay the night here. Um, I only have one bed, which means you'll have to sleep next to me if you're okay with that. He said, yeah. That's okay. Well, anyway, he goes inside, and, Seven and then the farmer Eight says, you're calls. just in time for dinner. I'm making a great big old pot of beans. Two calls. And the guy starts looking around the kitchen. He sees and notices all these dishes piled up. And he goes, okay. And he, he just sits down for dinner, and the farmer says, well, we play a game around bedtime to determine who cleans all those dishes. You see they're stacked up pretty good. <laughs> So they eat their dinner, like, like that's like and off the bed they go. Of course, farmer's on one side, the old boy's on the other side, you know. <laughs> he says, what's this game? He says, well, we play far football out here in the country. He says, your yardage is based on the, the loudness and the, the length of your, your gas. Yeah, just a black, says, All right, so farmer coffee. rips a big old nasty one. He goes, that's 40 yards. Rips another big one. That's 30 yards. Crack! He goes, that's touchdown, son. That the visitor says, all right, so he does his best to match it. He rips off a big one, another big one, another big one. Hey, we're tied up. So it's getting late, getting towards the bedtime. So that farmer says, man, I don't want to do all those dishes. He pushes real hard and shits all over the bed. And the guy says, oh, what do we do now? He goes, half time, chain sides. Oh, my God. Classy, Larry. Classy. Uh, he could have saved that joke for one night when Jolene was not in the building. A little nest. But why? Which one were you in there? Were you the farmer or were you the That's funny. I don't care. You got to be drinking on that. Half time. Chase that. Well, my kids at home have been learning how to tell jokes, and I've been trying to teach them that there's things funny other than farting and we'll pooping jokes. We'll video of you playing but, uh, with those guys. They never go out of style, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no matter how old you get. Of him with the guitar. Uh, oh, still panting? Still panting. That was cute. That was really cool. I really enjoyed that. That was a neat Oh, you got uh, that, That's uh, right. He told me you like that kind of music. Yeah, I do. I love that uh, uh, blues. I'm a big blues. No, I like blues, you know. Blue, good guitar. Clapton and that kind of stuff, you know, from the old days. That's what I grew up listening to. You know, what's really funny is growing up, um, you know, you got a lot of influences, and a lot of your guys are my age are influenced oh, by. Sanjeev. They're just I'm not 65. used to that. A lot of you guys are influenced by Clapton. They've never done that all night. Yeah. You know, why start yeah. Now? Um, Jeff Beck, Jimmy Page. Well, I'm not. Billy Gibbons. Uh, no. About the time I really got into music, you started becoming, you know, fluent on the guitar. Yeah. Randy Rose was around. Randy Ozzy's guitar player. Okay. His old, his okay. Guy got killed in a plane crash in 1985. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Yeah. So Randy was a big. But then mm -hmm. I got introduced to a man named George Lynch who plays guitar for Dockin. Dockin? Yeah. Uh, no. and, but George is a legend. I mean, you, you, yeah. you, you need to look at George Lynch. He is phenomenal. Oh, well, any good guitar player, I just think, are fantastic. I just love a uh, good blues type guitar. You know, just, yeah, I heard a song yeah. called Paris is Burning. Mm hmm. And uh, it's a live album that Dawkins did. It made me want to be a guitar player. Got to meet George a few times. Yeah. 100. Over at the House of Blues. Some of these pretty and... good, but they're a little bit overrated, I think. They play on the Bluesville all the time. Like, uh, oh, oh, I can't even remember their name. Their names are kind of weird. They're... Yeah, I told Will Waller, one of, one of my the biggest B, I think. people I didn't get to meet was Eddie Van Halen. I never got to meet Eddie. Well, you know, he was fantastic, and uh, what about the guy that was killed in the heli helicopter crash? I saw him in Austin live a Who? few times. Stevie oh, Ray Vaughan. Stevie Ray Vaughan. I saw him in Austin in a small little event uh, there in Austin. He used to play in this little bitty small place on, on the Strip, on 8, 6th Street. I saw him a few times. Yeah, Stevie Ray Vaughan was absolutely incredible. Could have a clash here. Lots of connection to this yeah. board. Rock and roll blues. Yeah, yeah Sanjeev's got a nut really flush drawn. He's not going anywhere. They all have Peter has talked to I mean, some people thought Jimmy Hendrix. That's the full size of the pot. His, that left-handed guitar, he could just he could just play well, you know, talk. He you know. played a right-handed guitar upside down. And I know. He played it strung backwards. It wasn't Peter's going to put Sanji on the floor left hand and it comes right. Yeah, right handed guitar. And pairs the board. Well, he flipped it over. So his, yeah, yeah, his yeah, top yeah. string was a high E string instead of a low E string. He played it. Oh, okay, he just flipped backwards. one over. I got you. Yeah. 
It's like incredible. Eesh. Mm-hmm. I don't think this is yeah, going to work. He played, it, he played a right-handed guitar, left-handed, yeah. but it was... Even though the board has paired, Sanjeev made the nut Somebody's flush. Somebody's new up-and-coming blues guys. going to stick They're with it. They're not new anymore, but... Uh, I'm trying to like think of their names. You probably you know Sanjeev. them all. I mean, if I, I just bat on names, but... One of them's got, I think... Mm. Beef, I like that uh, bet by Peter on the turn. Yeah, stay aggressive with it. He's blocking the other sets. Yeah, if Sanjeev doesn't have a full house or he doesn't have the nut flush draw, he's going right. to let that hand go. Is he a blues? He blues? plays country and stuff, but he plays, he does chicken picking. And he oh, is yeah. stupid good. Yeah. What about Junior Brown? Huh? Junior Brown? Yeah. He's fun to watch. I've seen him a bunch yeah. of times. He's really entertaining. Really entertaining. When he had his wife up there on stage, what? It's hilarious. You know, my buddy Satchel from Steel Panther, he's a uh, GIT graduate. He played with Paul Gilbert from Racer X. He's a phenomenal guitar player. He just really, really underrated. Mm-hmm. Larry will get up on stage at the House of Blues with the rock and roll 80s hair bands and freaking jam out. He is a good guitar player. I got a place right up near Green Hall. I go watch shows over there all the time. Yeah, he, the stuff he's talking about is right up my alley. You know, it's funny you mentioned Billy Gibbons when I worked in Nashville at Beeman Pontiac. There was a street called the Mombrian Street, which is one street over. Mm-hmm. And we'd go next door and eat at a place called the Tin Roof. And Billy Gibbons walked in one day while I was having lunch and sat down right next to me. They were doing uh, some kind of a drug, uh, anti-drug commercial. Um, oh, yeah? Yeah, he walked in and sat down right next to me. It was probably a, what year was that? Was it during President Ford? Was it, uh, was it been? <laughs> Would have been. Because it was, I think they were doing some. 2000. <laughs> President Ford? <laughs> Fuck. Six, 2005? President <laughs> Ford? Okay. That's a, yeah, 1976. These guys are taking it way <laughs> back. Way back. They were talking about Billy Givens, who's from the band ZZ Top, Texas band. And uh, Billy Givens, I believe. Rock and Roll Hall of Famer. Yeah, from right here in Houston, Texas band. Yep. Wow, two hands in a row. Somebody's going to bluff into Sanjeev when he has a club flush on a paired board. He called the last one against Peter. He's got the second nut flush this time. Wow. (coughs) I think he's going to call this here. I would call him. Sanjeev has not had a fold button all night. This is a good bet by Larry. Oh, wow. Gets the fold. Good hand, Larry. I did not think he, he was going to get that one through. Sanjeev will never fold again. Shows the bluff. Ah, <laughs> uh, folded the deuce, deuce, three, four, one time. Well, I will say, if you're going to try to make a living, calling... With flushes on paired boards, you're going to have a hard time. Right. And he found himself where he was going to be doing it twice in in hands back to back, you know. And he would have survived both of them, but it's a little hard when. Well, yeah, and on the previous hand, you even said if he didn't have the nut flush, he probably wouldn't have made the call. And there you have it. He had the second nut flush that time. There's just too many hands, too many combinations to beat you then. Yeah. When you know you're living on the edge, you're thinking, how long can I live on this edge? <laughs> Harry with a nice little double-suited hand. Limps in. Pulling claws, Lawrence, and Larry just bets 1500 on the Larry's going to raise this one up. He's got a double-suited rundown. I like Sanjeev here. He's got the button with a nice hand. The, he's... I felt like a bluff. Oh, Larry just calls. I'm kind of surprised by that. I mean, he is in early position, but 
still stacking chips. Yeah, Very pretty yeah. hand. I was expecting I a raise out of Larry or clubs. Sanjeev. That's new, but I respect it. Why can't you say good luck, dude? I said good luck. I respect it. Nut flush draw from Jolene and uh, straight draw. Yeah. Right? Yeah, nut flush, straight draw, one pair. Oh, yeah, she got a pair of fours there. Sweater guy with the mystery hand firing out. Will has an open ender, and, uh, you know, he's got two fives in his hand. So if it comes, you know, a seven, an eight, a deuce, a three, anything like that, he's going to plan on using those two fives as blockers. I'm trying to figure out what sweater guy can have with all the cards that are eliminated here. I know, because there's... Okay, now, here I would expect Will to be bluffing blockers here. It's scary with this many people in the pot. Yeah, Joe's, but, Joe's hand improves. She's got two pair in the nut flush draw now. But Will just didn't have that much of a hand on the flop. And now it's turned into something. And I knew it. <clears throat> and Jolene's in a spot here where if she calls and it doesn't come a heart, he's going to be able to bet again and take it. <clears throat> yeah, she's going to fold. Well, she has two pair, eights and fours. Yeah, I don't think she's thinking about folding here. Thinking about jamming. No. She's calling. I'm telling you, if it just comes a blank and Will fires again, he's going to win this hand. I think you're right. Yeah, I'm, I'm expecting a blank here. There's two hearts just got folded. She's got two hearts in her hand. I don't know what Pete. Now, this is a little bit scary because I don't know what he's got. I feel like it has to be a set of sixes or a set of aces. Just okay. by whatever, the elimination, you know. Uh, man, uh, just for sake of I love fucking poker, please don't put a heart. I want to see a blank and a wheel bet. Queen of hearts. God bless America. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's not going to work. Any checks? Very smart. Nice hand, Jolene. And she'll bet about half pot. Try to make some value here. Yeah, we're about to see some really good poker. Yeah, I think you I think you uh, nailed that spot on. I had a first draw, but I I knew know that I that can be good. Good to be good. You still did see some really good poker. You still did. Right. Jolene played the hand really well. Will played the hand really well. I could ask Peter tomorrow what he had. He, he could have actually had two pair with an ace, right? There was an ace on the boards. I think he was kind of whispering to Will what he had there, and it sounded to me like he had a, a worse flush draw. Okay. Because he was saying, well, she obviously had it. I'm glad I didn't call. <laughs> well, all right, Will with another hand. He probably had one of those little guy hands that he, that he always likes and a little flush to go with it. Yeah. But on to the next one, and yeah, double suited king, king, queen, queen for the Rockets, man. Plenty of action. El Tractor looking like he's thinking about raising here. A mystery hand. And he is. Oh, he got aces, bro. <laughs> He's got aces, bro. Yeah. yeah. I don't even have to see those cards. Yeah, there's two aces left, so they must be in his hand. <laughs> yeah, but uh, luckily for Rockets Will... After I'm that last hand, he doesn't have right that there, many chips there. left, and his, <laughs> he's got king, king, queen, queen. You, you never want to have kings against aces, right? But 
if you're uh, if you have king king queen queen double suited, and you know that this is about to go multi way, let's go. And we'll actually in a good spot here because we know that the other two aces are dead. I haven't seen any queens yet. We got one dead king. <laughs> not very often. Because he knew he had three calls coming behind him. I know. I mean, it's obvious. What am I not really Oh, wow. Doing? Look at all this. Everybody <laughs> gambling now. I mean, geez. I mean, look at all this money. How much it cost me to get a, get a look? Get a look. For, how much is in here? Let's count it. I'm going to have to go get a seat in this game, man. <laughs> it cost me another I'll see you later, buddy. I mean, I love being in the booth here with you. But to get a shot God at bless America. America. More than that. Yeah, quite a bit more than that, so I'm going to do it. Well, how about that? <coughs> Harry with more, the King right? 10, 6 5. I, looking at all these hands, I like his hand. I think he's going to make a 7 high straight. No. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> Nothing but the crying now. Rockets will. Top set for the Rockets. Mm. Well, I'll check also. How much is out there? Thirty-nine. I'm gonna pot it. You're gonna go all How much? Thirty-nine. <laughs> He's reaching in his pocket. This <laughs> kidding. You will put your watch in there, though. That... No watch. No, oh, damn. It. I had to pot it yesterday. It was a bad day yesterday, so. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> He's lying. He didn't have no bad play. Oh, well, bad bad day. <laughs> hey, we played Saturday night. He won like 14000 He went and took a nap and came back and By won way, like another 1000 I don't have any more money to buy, so please, if y'all just let me win this game. <laughs> just everybody fold. <laughs> I want to go home early. Yes! Right, right, now, you're, right now, you're please fold. You got one out. <laughs> you got one out. Look at Larry. Oh, Look at Larry. Well, he's got a gut shot. How can you um, fold? Yeah. <laughs> dude, I mean, he's not even joking. You know, you've seen him on this stream a couple of times. Call me with just nothing but a gut shot a couple of I times. I've seen what you can do, the voodoo magic you do. I'm just... Yeah, he's uh, he's not afraid. Waters with a gut shot. Backdoor clubs. Will's trying to get Waters to call. <coughs> Well, with all this action, I mean, Will's got to know everybody's got everybody else's outs, and he's got the nuts. I mean, yeah, that, no, 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 no. And I, you try, if you have a wrap or something, which I think you do, I got a shot. How much is in here? Thirty-nine seventy-five. Thirty-nine, four thousand. How much is that? Look at Harry. Give him the money. Oh, boy. And that's. I, I think if Harry folds, then Will. That, has right. to call with almost anything because the price is right, you know. Oh man, look at Harry. <laughs> now Will's like, I can get a side pot out of this. I like this. That was an act. Now, job. yes, I really like it. There we go, side pot coming. <laughs> I didn't even know you had cards. I didn't even know you had cards. He's a razor. I never saw him. That's hilarious. He's one of the razors. That's so funny. So I, I got to be thinking, I've got to go back to thinking that Will Benson has two aces. Of course, yeah, he's trying to make a side pot there. I mean, there could be some crazy situation where his danglers hit, like ace-ace 10-3 or ace-ace 3-3 or something. But Harry made it pretty, pretty clear he was making a light call. Mistake, total mistake. I never saw your cards. I didn't realize you'd read. All right, take Say hi, Liz. You got anything, Jack? No, I, don't know. I wish I did. Uh, I'll probably win five. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I got one pair. Aces. Aces. Got no, that four. killed me. That will do it. Oh, Queen's good. full. No Unless the pair that L Tractor has is trays. <laughs> Huh? You didn't mail it with that one? <laughs> How? I have to one all in the call. What do you call. mean? He didn't have that much money. Do it to him. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I want a hand. Y'all saw that. Timestamp. Timestamp. I never saw your hand, honestly. Hand, hand number 56. Thank you, Thank you. Oh, that was good. You know what? I, I would have done the same thing where it's like, you need a hit to win anyways, so it's yeah, like you might as well hit against everybody instead of it. 
I don't, I don't, yeah, I think it makes sense. All right. Yeah, I guess he's, he's, he's never going to put a hand back. Yeah. Right. Well, it makes sense, right? He wants to get the max. I mean, he, he knows he has a good hand, so. Lumpa. I was dead anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I figured when you said that. You'd have picked up a And after hand. that. I figured when you said that, I was like, Rockets this is will. The hand that has you I never saw his. Climbing I mean, back up. Was stuck almost 10,000. Now he's only stuck 5,000. Look at Sanjeev winning. Winning. Just 650 yeah. after some bad hands, you know. Back in the green. After some tough hands, some tough beats. Now, Peter in the hole. Uh, Quite a bit, which I'm not used to seeing. No. Let's see how he responds. He's I was honestly really had no, no chance to get out of it here. You know, it's not like he's had an opportunity and missed it. Yeah. Been, uh, uh, been playing know. fine. It'll make me a lot closer. There's a couple of spots there. Gets it in good, just doesn't run out. Is the button in the right place? Is the button in the right place? It's either Will or Dealer. Yeah. He was asking for, is the button in the right place? Yes. Oh. Mm, I'm stupid. I can't hear anything else. No worries. All right, one more double. Reason, no, in trouble. That's right. No, I know, but I need one double now. <laughs> Thank you. More than triple. Finds a suited ace and raises it again. What? Well, and you heard him. Never walk away from a heater. He's trying to get something going here. Go with the yeah, momentum. There was a hundred oh, yeah, Stay aggressive. But he gets anything like that. It's always for raised the, by Oklahoma Larry. And I'm seeing. Don't want anyone having bad breath. We can't see what Larry's holding yet. Yeah, Larry with an, another mystery hand. Um, and Sanjeev and Rockets Will in there. All clubs on the flop. Not seeing a whole lot of clubs. Larry could have those. Well, we don't know where the ace of clubs is. If Larry bets it, he's got it. Guarantee you Larry has the ace of clubs in his hand. Lofted. it. Yeah, ace nice five king. of clubs. Ace, ace, king five. Nice hand for Larry. What's Flop. that, oh. what's that noise? Is somebody got a somebody's the alarm table? going off? At the somebody's table. got a phone at the table. No it's probably in the box. Oh, yeah. It's probably Larry's because he's got it jacked up super loud because he can't hear anything. Destroy it. Wait, so that means that last hand was Nolan Void? Give the money back? Yeah, we got chopped it up five ways. No, that hand. No, and the one, and the one before me. No, 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 no,
255, 750, 10, 1250, 1650. 15, 15, 15. 15, 15. Oh my gosh. Are they still going to hold? Acting super aggressive, playing super aggressive. Yeah. Hoping to just take it down yeah. here. And if not, so are they still gonna fold? whatever. I've never been stared down like that before. So. <laughs> this is 21 out there. I knew you hear him? I've never been stared down by that. Dude, I, I'm telling you, when we played in Florida, after, you beat my six. after winning bracelets, and then we went to Florida with bracelets <coughs> on our wrist, and we played tournaments every night, and we played super Texas aggressive. Were you trying to challenge and me to get me to... Players did off. not like it. They were intimidated <laughs> yeah. by it. I mean, they were ready for us to... The, the house pros, the Floridian pro, pros, were ready for us to go home. We would employ tactics like that. Mm -hmm. We'd bet, and then we'd look at people, and you noticed as soon as Will bet, he's pointing at the table. <laughs> and he's joking. acting I'm super joking. aggressive, <laughs> playing super aggressive, and Sorry. what did we say earlier, aggression works in PLO? <laughs> sure. I can finally talk again. I'm only stuck 6,000. Come on. He can breathe again. <laughs> he's got chirping chips. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, you know, he's, he's, he felt that momentum. He, and you noticed about Will, he won a pot, and then he said, never walk away from a heater. He tried to raise away. up and win the Every next one, and he didn't. But he comes back on the third pot. He still don't want to let that momentum go, you know. He knows how important it is. Yeah, that's, it's a big thing in poker. And it, it's not just the momentum, it's the story, you know. Hey, this guy was running hot for a while and playing aggressive. Now it's my turn. And, right. You know, you believe it, and then the other players start believing it. They start folding to you. And, well, and there are certain players, too, that are just like, oh, he was due, you know. And they'll get out of your way just because of that. Yep. <laughs> No, I'm good, bro. Thank you. Too bad. Same time. All right, Dan stepped out of the booth for just a few minutes. So it's just me and you guys. And let's let's just hope in this little stretch here that Will or Larry wins it. You know what? And I'm I'm still rooting hardcore for some of you. Can't help it. Yeah. I have a feel I feel like that has any trick for us, right? No, I would have saved the suit. Wow. I have a feel like I don't know. I feel like I'd want better than that. Can you not see it? Oh, Does ours count on the flop? Only on the flop. Okay, I didn't even know it would count for flop. This is just a little secret between me and the audience here, whoever's still listening. Dan Faust has left the booth. It's I could lock the door and basically say whatever I want in here. That's an easy hand to beat for 20 minutes, guys. I'm pretty sure it's just. Oh, someone flopped a flush earlier. Oh, Larry flopped ace high flush earlier. Like three hands ago. He had ace high. What is it, two? Yeah. Poker would never be the same. Seven, ace, king high flush. Ace. All right, it's five he had. Harry yeah, raising it up with a little rundown. Uh, Jack high five, suit. Six, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I'm sorry, Harry yeah. called. Larry Lawrence seven. raised it. He showed it too. Lawrence hand, we has a suited ace. High, seven, six, five flush. That's that's a nine high straight, right? right. Sanji with flush. the real hand. Ace king seven six five. Ace king seven six five. That one hundred was part of the pot. C seven. Oh my God, I'm rich. <laughs> Thank you. That got me out of the trap. Thank you, John. I tried. I tried to get a hundred dollar rebound. Oh. You got that fifty dollars sale I sent you? Harry flopping top two pair again. Gonna bet the pot. And probably just take with this one down. Sure. If someone uh, seven, yeah, seven, yeah. If someone beats that, then they win. <laughs> In the last twenty minutes. Seven. Larry, see seven. How do I get more chips on this table so I can get out of the trap? Oh, Larry had a high hand. <laughs> he really did, though, and he, he tabled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was three we hands. have to get the info for you guys put 400 in pre. on how to get some of this stallions. Yeah. You never thought when I was talking about that hand that I did not have you in Gear. Will's wearing the stallions hat tonight. I never, but I'm sitting here talking about his hand. I had no clue. I just like thought your hand was... It was right in front of me. I could never see it. Yeah, he moves in, you fold. Yeah, I fold her. 
Yeah. You move any fold. If you move in a fold. Right here. But I was like, well. No, but I'm not going to move in because I know I had the best hand. I thought he was fucking around with a draw or something. And I, and I was priced in against him, not against him, yeah. not against him. But that, it's my fault I mean, for not seeing him. I mean, I, I Larry's such a big dude. Mind, Why didn't y'all speak up and say, you know, he's got a hand. I thought you were playing coy with me for no, a second. No, it doesn't matter. And I was like, no. No, it doesn't matter. No, didn't you realize that I went, nope, I didn't see it. But it's, it's okay. It was, it's no big deal. But you would have lost either way. Either way, yeah. <laughs> either way, I'm going to yeah. lose. So it didn't cost me. You would just lost 4K more if you would have. No. The rest, huh? No. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it cost me, yeah. It didn't All right, cost six me ways more, to the flop here again. Stupid. And uh, Jolene like with a nice hand. <laughs> What's that? Watch and she's going to flop time. a flush, it's draw, and an over pair. It's Brian and Ray. It's bright enough. Sanjeev's going to no, have a little rock. Oh, I saw there were 17 rap. minutes left in this high hand, and it's at 10, so I figured it was 943. Mm. That would be tough. Deductive reasoning. Jolene, probably her most aggressive move of the night in a six-way pot. Flops a flush draw. King high flush draw with an overpair. She bets the flop. Sanjeev calls with a wrap, and Lawrence calls with... I've been the nut flush draw. Two or three streams I've been. No, I really boo. Hard on the screen. Ooh, I've been I played like five cards card on the turn. Game. Makes Jolene's like hand even Two bigger. Really, really, really card not, I've lost oh, wow, I thought she was not going to slow down with that one. Yeah, I mean, I, I started out playing with uh, Phil here. I played a green with him and lost. And then I, two days, I think it was, I played with him. Lost two days. And then I played another screen. What's the difference between you having big hands, flopping sets like Sanji and losing? Yeah. yeah Jolene with the check mark. Well, Jolene had an opportunity to win this hand on the turn I mean, and on the river, and she's going to win it yeah, still. Yeah. Okay. She she took the more conservative route uh, on the turn. As her hand got bigger, she checked it. To where I thought she would bet it, but she did. As she did earlier, and took the more conservative route, and it worked. But I think uh, if Lawrence well, Lawrence could have won that hand on the river. Yeah. You know it. I saw it too. And <coughs> Water's only goal right now is not. She played it very well, though. Won a nice. Uh, Let me see how long I can walk around. Nice pot again. I'll get rid of every other If he plays a hand, I'm going to try to make sure he does. If he plays a hand, yeah, it's not going to be kind of funny how it's going to get changed. Okay, I'm going to press it. Okay, so I think that is there. Yeah. I'll always like playing it. I don't know. So these were here, but I saw this was my card. Pick your cards up, boys. I just want to go play aggressive and play more aggressive. <coughs> what happened? Well, Larry's talking about, I mean, uh, Harry's talking about playing more aggressive, and there's been a couple of points tonight where you've seen the aggression has worked, right? Traditional wisdom. This time he's going to run into it, though. Sweater guy with double suited kings going to jack it up to 400. Okay. Now. Peter, yeah. losing tonight, looking for an opportunity to make a win a big one before the stream is over. Gets a good hand and he's got good position now. Builds a big pot, over two thousand in the middle. Five players going to the flop, and uh, just like <laughs> just like you drew it up, Peter comes ten four deuce, not your suit. <laughs> yeah. Makes it real difficult to bet into all these people. And he just takes the free one. Now the diamonds get there. The only diamonds we can see are nine high. Oh, yeah. Larry's got nine high diamonds. He's just going to... I would think the... Yeah, there you go. The, the play would be to check call if I was Larry. You lead out and bet your nine high flush and get flush and get raised, you're gonna be in trouble and not know what to do. So yeah, and now the board pairs on the river. We still don't know what Harry's hand is. Uh, six folds. 
We do know that he raised pre-flop and there's an ace on the board. Probably, oh wow, Harry all of a sudden from the nosebleeds pots it. I thought Larry was just gonna check it down and win it with a nine high flush. I think he just made tens full. Yeah. Tens full of aces would be my guess. <coughs> there you go, Harry. We may never know. Super aggressive. Let's see what happens. Yep. Got to bluff him to get him. Yeah, says he's bluffing, so you know he had it. <laughs> you'll, all be, you'll all be laughing your asses off. <laughs> yes, indeed. You never scanned your cards, indeed. Harry. If I had hands that good, I'd play professionally. I mean, Harry's joking about playing professionally, but I mean, sort of. <laughs> he plays every day of his life. But that turned down. Yeah. And I thought for sure you had set aces. 25 right there. Me? You win if you bet those cards. No, I thought you turned to set aces. There's nothing in bet. I turned it? I can't have it. Well, oh, you're trying to trap me? I couldn't have it, though. <laughs> That's what I'm telling you. If he raised you're not going out. 200. 200. Yeah, I would have I would, I would, I would, I would, I would, I would made a bigger pre -call. I raised. No, we're doing more. Okay. Smooth I mean, calling with. Maybe some really bad ones, but. Eh, yeah, very rare. But, no, I'm going to get it in there. Yeah, especially with what I've left. Yeah. Four seat call. Yeah, no, I'm five seat. Kings, five seat. 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 I did want to bet. I did want to bet my hand as a bluff, but it was an ace. Ace didn't flop a turn, so I got to give you right. some credit there. <coughs> That's too fair. Rock, rockets wheel with a suited ace and flops a, a flush draw. Hey, turn diamonds. With a pair of threes. I did. I turned ace four. And uh, Harry with top set. We may see some fireworks here. Gotta look out for you, Larry. He's trying to blink on the river. We're gonna bet. Well, Will's gonna raise him. He's definitely gonna get called since Harry has the nuts here. All in. All in C1. All in C2. All in C2. You got a pair? Two, or a set? Five. Yeah, got a pair. All right, I can beat that, actually. Oh, you got a set? Yeah. <laughs> I got a pair. Set, actually. <laughs> he couldn't stand lying even for yeah, a I'm second. Sure Three one. times, he says. Yeah, only once. <laughs> yeah. It's torture. You get a sign on the table that says, Harry, we only go once on the live stream. Uh, uh, We've only told you four times tonight. It's so fine with me, two, man. I mean, I've been in, I've been in this trap. Four, five, I mean, I like I like my position at the moment. A will with the Flip it over. Let's sweat the nut flush back door outs. That's That's but way five. behind <laughs> you. <laughs> you need a spade? I'll your hand for 4,500. <laughs> Uh -huh. I had to flop constantly. Where's his hand? It's right here. You'll see it at the... I can now hit a five or a three to make a full out. <laughs> and lose to Queen's full. <laughs> <laughs> nice hand, Harry. There you go. 13K pot. Rough one. Interesting. I wonder what would have happened if uh, if Will would have just called and he turned two pair and Harry potted it again. Then Will would have been in the spot where he had the nut flush draw and bottom two pair and called that. You know, I wonder what he would have done there. I mean, he took the the right play. I thought raise Harry and hope to push him off of a hand. And if not, make the flush, you know. Uh, Harry, of course, had the nuts and was not going to be pushed off. Yeah, you can't push a guy off that. And Harry was due for a big one, too. He'd been losing. Nice hand, Harry. Can you get a setup? This can't be right. <laughs> yeah, really, I understand. It can't be. All right, let's see. I'm going to put the 50 on. All right. I, I have not looked at my card. 
50 on for Harry. You know when I walked in uh, a second ago to take a break, go to the little alien's room, I ran into uh, Shipley's Jared, absolute maniac. Uh, love that guy. Oh, man. I love him. I ran into him and uh, Saigon Tony. Tony Wynn, uh, chef, owns Saigon House in uh, Yen Chow. And... Uh, both those guys were sitting at the bar, and they said that they love the show. They watch every Tuesday. Jared, of course, has played on it a few times. Rock Smasher, as he's called. And uh, I've played big with him all weekend. Cool dude. Love having him on the show. And we want to have Tony on here again pretty soon. Saigon Tony's not been on the show, but I've played with him quite a bit. Fun guy. Uh, chef. Been on some reality shows. Owns couple of restaurants in Houston, world renowned, super cool dude, <coughs> uh, crawfish season. So if you guys, especially are on the north side of Houston, hit me up and let's go to Saigon House and share some crawfish. Sure. Heck yeah. There, if you guys don't know this, uh, crawfish season here in Texas is a big deal. <coughs> and this year, uh, there's been some sort of drought or or something going on to where the crawfish is like sixteen ninety nine a pound they're oh, hard yeah. to come back yeah it's starting late and it's hard to get but tony's got crawfish over there at saigon house and if you just can't stand it and you're missing your crawfish which all of you are you crawfish lovers you head suckers like i said saigon <laughs> house on the north side of houston spring texas they got crawfish and in, in, in the best in the world. Huge turn card for Waters here. Nut flush draw on two pair. Got shot to a wheel. Well, I forgot Waters was here. He's been quiet for a minute. Without that cowboy, that confident cowboy hat, that lucky cowboy hat. Bottom two pair will hold Bottom if it checks two around. Pair. And look at him. He bets it. Yeah, why not? Bet for value. <laughs> he bets it. Lord's like, I should call him. Little shout out to Tommy Venus, Houston poker legend. This guy, Tommy Venus, who, you know, was, was a poker legend for... For a long about time, about doing something. he I used to make these the poker educational videos. And back back in the days before the internet, and he used to say on there famously, "Bottom two pair is the worst two pair." <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So, so all of his buddies in Houston remember the time and remind him of it quite a bit when he tried to. Right. Oh, it was an audio book. <laughs> when Tommy Venus had an audio book about how to play poker. That's great. Bottom two pair is the worst two pair. This is crazy on this stream how you can see some super advanced moves and some great plays by players. And then you see some plays where you're just like, what in the heck just happened? You right. Know? And you can't accuse Waters for being on lockdown with his big win when he's betting no. with bottom two pair. Absolutely <laughs> not. You, you know, action, action, action. Got to love it. All right. Speaking of action, please fold please in the fold. big blind. Double suited. Hey, he's, hand. he's got a good hand. And what did I say earlier? If you're a creative player, you kind of like early position. It's kind of... You know, in poker, it's early position is almost looked down so much as it. They just say position, and they mean the button. But they're actually all positions. Sure. And if you have a certain style of play, early position can be just as strong and just as effective as late position. Unless Larry calls with jacks and threes in his hand and smashes the flop. Yeah. You can be in trouble here, but luckily he's not gonna. Luckily for Lawrence, he's not gonna lose anything in this hand. 
Now, puts a feeler out there. He's about to feel exactly where he's at. Nick, can you help me out? Hmm. Help me out. What do you want? Two cards. Two yellows. Yeah, two yellows. Larry's going to ask how much is in there. Yeah. Oh, you want two yellows? Oh, I'm good. Larry's going to do some stuff, and then Lawrence is going to fold. I'm playing with you. I'll have the tic tac, please. Yeah, toss awesome them over here. Thank you. I need it. I only need 10,000 dollars of tic tac. I'm sorry, I'm giving away your tic tac. No, 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 that's fine. It's fine. <laughs> not even mine. Give me a good even. Eat. Okay. See if I get 10K worth of tic tac. Um, I mean, how many boxes is that? Yeah, just dump your phone. I was about to say. I was about to say, I don't believe you, but I don't have any Dump your phone. Hi, Sam. Fruit adventure. I thought that was true there. Larry's antics were making Lawrence. I was, I was saying, I don't believe you, but I don't have anything. Right. But now I believe you. <laughs> he just didn't have any. I think if Lawrence I had, I had, had anything at all. That's what I was saying. I didn't, yeah, I had nothing. Larry's antics were. I'm, I'm glad I didn't. Right. Right. As much as I'm like making fun of him for it. He did seem suspicious as hell there. <laughs> Harry's been all in for four hands now. That all in button hasn't moved from in front of him. <laughs> there we go. There is no way for me to. There, there used to be a guy in Houston who had this chip that was the coverall chip. It just meant whatever game he was in, he could put it in. That meant I have you all covered. Uh, <laughs> I didn't, have, I didn't have aces. We need to have one of those buttons yeah. for Harry. But yeah. I mean, you got really unlucky to draw out. Well, I, mean, I think I we have $25,000 chips in the cage. Uh, you can just buy one of those and like he hit it earlier. put that in a $1 I mean, you know, chip in there. <laughs> How did you not you draw out? Well, I'm trying to figure out. The three, the three was Something good. weird going on. You didn't draw. I, I wasn't drawing too great even against the three. Come on, Will. L Tractor, single suited aces. In the biggest blind, getting some more money in the pot. Now, Larry calling with a hand <laughs> similar to the one Will I played. Chips. I, I, got, I got chips in front of me, I mean, <laughs> in a stream game. Yeah. Hey, what's up? And L Tractor still in the lead here, but a kind of a scary lo looking little board there. And both of those players, Larry and Waters, both look very uninterested. Yeah, Larry does make the straight now on the turn, though. Yeah, uh, you know, if he would have bet the flop, he may have won that one. But Larry's got a straight now. He's not letting it go. Hey, there's Rock Smasher. There he is. Ship making the rounds. You can probably tell by my physique that I, I help pay Jared's bills sometimes. <laughs> Shipley's Donuts, Houston legend, uh, legendary place. Yeah, I've been known to frequent it. And... My favorite is just the plain glazed. There you go. I'm a maple man. My kids mostly like pink with sprinkles. Sure. But uh, in poker games, you know, they usually run all night and usually about seven o'clock in the morning, everybody's starved to death. And one of the game girls has got to run to Shipley's Donuts and get you some kolaches and some <laughs> plain glazed and get you going for another 24. That's right. And dealer change coming up. Eric going out, Giovanna coming back in, and we'll talk about the Winter open, Poker Open again. Hit that QR code for details. February 2nd to the 19th, we have a ton of tournaments going on, including a main event with a $1 million guarantee. That's a $1,500 buy-in. We also have an $1,100 PLO championship and a host of other games. Take a look at that to find out what ones you want to play. And we are the only poker club in Texas with a hotel on site. Use promo code WPO2024 to get a 109 room rate. February 1st through the 20th.
I can't wait for that tournament series. I would have, I would have been winner. Yeah, we're all looking forward to it. We're going to be streaming a ton. You know who? Dan, you know what? We got to get Russian go David sure. over here. <laughs> Cosmonaut <laughs> David Monster. I would look at it again because it's one of the best on. tournament players Redcar in Houston. One of my best friends. And yeah. as I mentioned yeah. earlier, Tia was going to be doing some interviewing. Yeah, Maybe if David's Redcar over God here, was, she can get an interview with him. He kind of lays low. He he goes so hard in the summer at WSOP, and he plays the few big uh, WPT events in Florida and and around the country during the year. That he kind of lays low now when we're at home, but um, I think the Champions Poker Live viewers would like to see and hear from him, and I like the people. I think the people of Houston would like to see and hear from him. He was mid stakes. Player of the Year two years ago, one of the original Mattress Mac Stallions, and uh, he's from Azerbaijan. He lives here in Houston. He's played poker with us for years, and uh, to just super super talent. And I know him and Rockets Will are going to be uh, rooming together a couple. They they shared rooms a couple of times, and as I say, we. We share accommodations out on the road, whether it's Airbnbs or a hotel room or whatever. And they, uh, I'm jealous of them because they're both my best friends and they were in Florida together and I was missing them and they're going to be rooming together in Vegas this summer. Uh, and so that's my team I'm really looking forward to, to watching and, and I think they're really going to do some good stuff. And so I think the Champions Club really needs to get to know uh, cosmonaut as he's called we're all for it bring him on down and if he comes out here and starts playing tournaments then all the rest of us are just playing for second anyway oh my what a river look at larry look at larry legend hey we only got 56 minutes left with one big hand wow last hour of the stream and larry legend Finding the one of the last nines in the deck with your hand. Well, he's been watching my old YouTube videos, and he's one of my biggest fans over the years. <laughs> I taught him everything he knows, basically. A lucky for Harry here. He doesn't have a full house, and he doesn't even have a big kicker with his six. So at the very least, he's just going to call, and he could fold. Good play there. You can make a fold here, Larry. Or Harry. Good one. When they flip their cards up like this, they're probably going to go ahead and throw in the muck. Good fold, Harry. Love to see it. Good for the stream. It's very hard to fold. Wow. Oh, my God. What's the rest? What's the rest? You got two pair? Two pair in your hand? Oh, my God. No, he doesn't have a six. <laughs> hey, just straight up, Larry got extremely lucky on that hand. And he bet the river, and Harry got away from it. Great job, Harry. <laughs> Beautiful. He's a magic man. Nine's been lucky for you. That's a fireman, nine the river. Over card to go with that. You had a jack high. Oh, that, no, no, no. Yeah. <coughs> Nice man. Now, I think last stream Larry lost. But as soon as the stream ended, they kicked it up and played outside in the main room. And about four in the morning, he won a huge pot to get winner. So he does well every Tuesday night, and he looks forward to it. When we had to cancel a couple of weeks ago because of the freeze and everything, Larry was pissed. Yeah. His his week revolves around Tuesday night at Champions, and you cancel it on him, he don't like it. Well, the kick starts my week every week. I enjoy and this here goes. Uh, stallion stream. Thank you, Dan. We appreciate everything you do, man. We, it wouldn't it wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be the same without you. Oh well, I appreciate that. But even before you guys started this stream, I was saying we were doing hold'em streams, and I was like, you know, I'm a PLO guy. I love PLO. 
I like to play it. I like to watch it. I was glad that we got a PLO stream going, and it's great that we got it every week. So, man, you know, I've got a thing where I always say is, if I fold a hand, I say I'm always I'm, I'm going to fold <coughs> and then root for the razor, root for the aggressive guy. <laughs> right. You know, and I'm always rooting for the creative guy. And uh, the guy who raised this hand, the guy who's trying to make something happen here, is Lawrence. Please fold King Jack three four double suited. And look at this. It looks great, except for Joe has the other kings. Oh no! Both of them. Oh no! So it's a mirror versus top set. Oh no! And he's got backdoor diamonds and backdoor hearts. And look She's at Waters, a wrap on Broadway, which has the most equity now be because all, yeah. all those cards are counted for. I get it. And he's got the dry ace. So if a diamond comes and a man is able to play his cards right, he may win a big one here. Yeah, we're going to see a three-way big pot here. Wow, Jolene. Jolene could just call here. Oh, wow. Oh. Losing. She's, she already lost 100 in this one. Oh, look, got it back. <laughs> She's probably going to raise it. Yeah. I was going to say she could just call it here, though. Now, that might get rid of Waters. Yeah. But he does have the wrap. It's a rainbow board. He's also way up. That might be a reason to fold, actually, when you're way up. <laughs> Well, Waters she, likes to gamble. Yeah, but she made it. She bet pot. That's a big, right. That's a big bet. Check raise. Yeah, thirty nine hundred to call, and you have no flush draw. He has the nine through the ace. He's got a wrap. So any nine, ten, queen or ace will win the pot for him. Backdoor clubs and backdoor diamond dry guy. Bad part is I, no matter what Waters does here is I'm thinking about Lawrence here. He's in a real bad spot. Yeah, he may be able to get away. Wow. Wow. I was going to say he may be able to get away from this hand, and now with Waters going all in, he may have to. I think he thought about it for a minute there, and he thinks it's set over set, and that makes his wrap huge. I think Lawrence, please fold, I think is going to get away from this one here. Yeah. I was really interested to see if he could get away from it if it was just him and Jolene. Um, now that it's been... Thank you, sir. Raised, I think he's going to get away from it. Great fold, Lawrence. Yeah, he knows he's facing at least one set here. Yeah, so water is in danger here now of going backwards a long way. One time, baby. Nine. The club out there, there it is, baby. Broadway Deuce. comes through. Diamond. Good God. Deuce diamond, baby. Not over yet. Not over yet. Deuce diamond. You had that too, Harry. <laughs> How much are you still a handful? Deuce, huh? Deuce diamond. Aren't too many board pair outs left. All of them are blocked. That man oh. don't need a lucky hat. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So you'll be happy about what I have. I think wow. I had a wow. king and a dragon. I did not expect that. Oh, none of my word. Thank you. God, wow, he I took your three hundred dollars. But I had a king and a jack before. You see that? <laughs> I did see that. We appreciate it. Good hand, Nick. No. The royal we, as I sometimes deal. <laughs> Very nice hand, Waters. You know, uh, you got to hand it to him. You can do nothing else but hand it to him because he didn't flop the best hand. He flopped ace high, but he had a good chance to win, and he thought to himself. You can I just hair? call, Has or can I just move and all my chips in? Take the aggressive route. Maybe I make my opponent's foe. If not, I, had I got a, a bunch of outs. He thought about it. He took the gamble. He took the risk. He made the hand. He won. Great job, Waters. Nice job. <laughs> 
tough luck for Jolene. What are you going to do? You just flop the nuts? Yeah, and big hand. Hope it holds. Yeah, huge hands. Nothing she can do. She's got the nuts, like you said. I think you kind of read the situation there. They've got all each other's outs. And I've got this wrap, like rainbow board. Well, if you didn't want to fold a hand that big, and if you don't want to fold it, then you mean sixty forty. You don't. One thing that you know you can kind of get worried about is making a call and then folding. You know, you're just like, yeah, if I'm gonna play it, let's just get all the money. You're the pro. You're the pro. We always leave the pro. And if you make your hand on your turn, you don't want your opponent squirming around. Sixty forty. Sixty five forty. Little less. He has like thirty five. He played a queen eight seven for a big one. She had one of his queens. Yeah, I cannot believe it. Yeah, I did. It was about 35. And likewise, he had some of her pair cards. He was like 37. He had some of her pair cards. 30. Yeah, but she yeah, he's better than 37. Yeah. No, he's not. 40. Oh, so. no, no, he's not. You don't think? He's got yeah. two cards. He's got nine outs. With, with two cards? Yeah, he's got nine outs. I'm going to have to pull this. You're nine outs, you're an underdog. Let me get some. Let me get five and five, please. Five and five? Nine outs plus. Eight. Jolie, you need some change? Yeah, that's, he's giving me five and five. He's probably 45. God damn. Oh. 30, <laughs> 37 and a half. Or we can look it up. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, I'll, I'll, get, I'll get a thousand. She's got a queen. But uh, you got a queen. But he's, he's got three of her. But we don't know that. You can't count that. Can't no, no, count. but we're talking about on the plot. Yeah, no, we can't what did we talk about earlier? The Matthew rule. Did the rich get richer? Right. I think he was peaking at one point at 12k winner and he went back down to like 8 or 9k winner. She doesn't win as often when he makes it on the turn. Yeah, of course. Jared Eskandari in the chat now. There he is, Shipley's Jared. That's my boy, man. An absolute maniac. Listen, I've Played with all kind. I played with Oklahoma Larry and Peter Fry, the sweater guy. I mean, I played with some characters, some crazy people in this game. Shipley's Jared Eskandari is an absolute maniac. He is one of a kind, and there's nobody like him anywhere. Yeah. I'm telling you, there is nobody like him anywhere. It is pretty unbelievable. Uh, I obviously don't have the experience that you have with him, but I've watched him on the stream. I've dealt to him in his private game here at the VIP room that we uh, have available. And, uh, you know, I don't think I've ever seen him have a losing session, and he's always a super nice guy to the staff and the other players and everything else. Nothing but good things to say about that guy. Well, I've seen him have losing sessions, and I've but I've seen him have winning sessions. That I'm sure mean, it happens. I just haven't seen. When him. I say maniac, I just mean somebody who loves poker so much that he oh, yeah. will play. He will play poker until the lights have gone out. Everybody's gone home. If you're the last person there, and you brought him, he's going to be like, "You're playing with me." <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want to quit, dude. Love he freaking plays. He will play if, if everybody runs out of money. If he's beaten the entire room out of money, he will find a guy cleaning the bathrooms and say, come out here, I'm going to give you $1,000 and try to beat you out of it. <laughs> <laughs> he's nuts. Uh, great guy for poker, man. We love him on the stream. The clubs? I do. That's so sick, dude. So fucking wow. sick. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh, that's how you ever Oh my god. god. Straight flush over straight flush. Oh, that's oh my it. God. That's the big, best, worst beat ever there, isn't it? They can't on get stream. Anywhere. On stream. Huh? Wow. So the, the graphics, uh, uh, there's a misread on the graphics here. She's bringing it out here so we can see it. We got a 10 high straight flush over an 8 high straight flush. Wow. Rockets will on the bottom end of it, unfortunately for him. Wow. Joe dialing up. I couldn't see what was going on there. Yeah, the graphics are incorrect. Did you see this cord? On straight flush. Straight flush. Straight flush. Is that what? Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. Nice hand, Jolene. Super uh, bad yeah, beat. 
Well, there, there was no game. You forgot to double the card. I, think I got there at like 11. So. Nothing you can do about that. I mean, you got a straight flush. You're getting all your money in there. That's just all you can do. Maybe, uh, maybe tomorrow or Thursday. Maybe tomorrow or Thursday. And it wasn't even that big of a pie. Yeah, well, it was. She she had just reloaded for 2K, so she just didn't have any chips. You know. Well. Here's what's just yeah, happened. Really there was somebody at home that. thinking, you I want to play Omaha. Omaha. And they've been I watching this stream the whole time thinking, I want to play Omaha. <laughs> And they saw that hand and they're like, forget it. I'm not playing <laughs> Omaha anymore. What a bad beat. Uh, you know, I've been tapping them all stream. I tap them all the time. Rockets will. Best player in Houston, but... Uh, yeah, Nothing you can do. Right, you didn't even that. ask if she had the ace. I thought you had the ace. Yeah, He's had a rough you know, night. Yeah. 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 He just can't do anything in situations like that. And Jolene, I mean, she just had a rough one the hand home. before. Uh, right. It did. It happened. It had the bottom part and the guy the top part. Luck swung the other way. It happened to me in a hole. Immediately. We're going to call you train wreck from now on. That, I, I thought that okay. I had been in almost every situation you could be in at the poker table. If we're advertising but PLO or if we're straight flush over straight flush has uh, never making happened. Making people, to me yeah, we're scaring people. Off. The last, couple, the last two hands. It's never happened to me either, but I did deal a hand one time where a guy had a steel wheel in Omaha split and got a quarter. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> Loses to a bigger straight flush. I want to hear uh, Scott's wow. last couple hands. I want to hear what they said when the seven came and we checked around thinking, Will's about to lose 27, 7, 27, 25 here on the river. Or pair and the I'm board. trying to pair the board. I thought the well, we six. didn't say that because we didn't know what the cards were. <laughs> yeah, and I didn't know what was going okay. on there really until the end. Like I said, one by six on the just got a, I just got a straight flush, Rob. I just turned a straight flush. And lost. And lost. <laughs> That's a big part. Man, if you're at home and you're kind of new to poker, you don't even know how that feels. <laughs> I mean, this game is so hard sometimes you're thinking, how can I win? How can I win? And then you make a straight flush. Well, especially in Omaha because, for, yeah, I mean, it, we know this, but anybody who's watching this, that happens a lot more often in Hold'em because you can play one card out of your hands. Yeah. In Omaha, you have to play two cards out of your hands. So to get straight flush over straight flush, you have to give the exact two cards and the exact three cards on the board, and the other guy has to have the exact other two cards. And yeah, it's, it's, it's very it's unlikely. astronomical. You know, and he's sitting there the whole night, you know, and he's thinking to himself, I'm going to make a comeback here. And, of course, I was thinking it, and I was sort of saying, well, at some point, Will's going to make a comeback, and this is going to... And you think, hey, it happened. I made a straight flush. This is it right here. And then you... Right. Oh, my goodness. Look yeah. at Waters. 18K winner. Yeah, get rid of that deck. Go throw and it away. Rip it off. Yeah. Rockets are really in a rare position at the bottom of the leaderboard. You don't see them down there very often. And just a bloodbath tonight with Waters cleaning house. What a wow. <laughs> and only about 40 minutes left of the stream for these guys to try to crawl out of this. But as Scott was saying earlier, the game doesn't end when the stream ends. These guys will put in a marathon session and these... Uh, Wins could turn into six figures, or <laughs> you just never know. Well, the stuck people will certainly be battling tonight. Waters may be up so much. Might just go home and buy a car. <laughs> yeah. Seven thousand on the side. Every time I see Waters, though, I gotta go home and watch Peaky Blinders. It's my favorite gypsy. <laughs> there you go. My favorite gypsy has double suited nines. And your favorite nines? You like the two red ones, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'll take any nine, don't of get me wrong. 
I like the seven four of diamonds, but I'll take any seven four. <laughs> Speaking of, Sanjeev. Yeah. <laughs> it's not as good in Omaha. Get out of there. <laughs> I bet you raise. I don't know. Depends who it is. You don't know either? No worries. Probably runs with dry nine. No random mates out there? <laughs> what is Peter got? I have. I certainly he, have. He certainly could have one. Dude, I haven't had the opportunity. In a while. Waters again, just <laughs> leading into the field. Yeah, just put, put a feeler out there with the nine, see where I'm at. Yeah, but you've done it. And it's going to work this time. Right. Bully. You do it? <laughs> well, he had two nines. I mean, he had to think that was the best yeah. thing. And, the, and two ways to fill up. Yeah, that's right. I don't know what the hell. Will Benson can't right. figure it out. <laughs> He's like, you had nines, right? He's like, yeah. <laughs> because some people. You know, because then, then they can't have one of their cards. Must go. I love the table talk. But and plus some people because this some is people, a format that we're kind of And some people they're just going to be like, you know, whatever. They're not even going to think about it. God. I need a right. Somebody it's help too much talking over each other. My mic working. Yeah. That's definitely an issue when we get to these spots where it's, you know, two or three conversations going on at once. It's kind of tough to hear what's going on, but uh I try now to, I have the power to turn it down a little bit, and then we can talk. Yeah, that's a. <laughs> I, I like um, the that you can do that, and it it works nice when the players are talking. I'm like, we want to hear you talk, but let's try to do it at one at a time, you know. Right. It laid into the stream though. Nobody gives a shit. They just want to get aces or nines and get their money in and double up, triple up. Sure, and. After you're sitting at this table for a little while, you forget about the cameras and you're mm -hmm. just playing poker and you're talking to the guy next to you and the person across the table is talking to the guy next to them and, it, you know. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I, I do have to thank all these guys, though, because it's been months now that we've been running this stream and um, these people play with me and Will because they love us. They're our friends. Most of them don't, e you know, a lot of them don't even live on this side of town. But they'll drive all, all the way over here and they'll play with guys like Larry and uh, Peter Fry and Eddie Murphy and Waters. These guys who have been, especially the regulars. And we've got a wait list for this game. We're turning people away. We're, <laughs> we're like losing friends because people are mad at us because we can't <laughs> get them a spot on the stream. Um, but we explained to our friends when we started it. You know, when we're playing poker, it's, it's player first. But when we made this show, we were like, hey, guys, can you make this guy? Can you make this audience first? And they've all done a really good job at, at helping it. And I think the audience appreciates it, you know, like showing their love for Larry and showing their love for Peter. And, and we really appreciate you guys. And we've had a great time doing this show, and we want to continue to do it. And, uh, yeah, just saying thank you to not only the people watching it, but the people playing it. I do. Interesting spot there. A sweater guy with top two and the nut flush. And Joe with a set of queen or kings, but she gets away from it. Yeah, well, Peter's reputation is going to win him this hand. What's that? What is that river card? I saw you. She knows he's a good player. He's not gonna be messing around. Uh, uh, uh. We don't. Don't do this shit. They wouldn't move all ago. Don't do that. We're out of time. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Somebody else asked for it earlier, and they saw it. So. Well. Yeah. We're, <laughs> yeah. The rule is no rabbit hunting. I was surprised he didn't stop you. I was surprised he didn't stop you when you did it. Little different when you want to see the run out after you've won the pot and you're not even showing your hand than when you yes. show down top set and say, what what's, what would the river been? Yes. yes. <laughs> just, I'm just saying, the situation's slightly different there. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> That's funny. Larry was asking for a river when, he, I mean, it didn't even matter. <laughs> when he's stacking the chips. <laughs> didn't even matter. He didn't. 
Yeah. Oh God, it's one of my favorites too. Hit that spade or whatever you need. It's simply amazing. Fuck that spade. Because I got that spade a little folded for the catch up straight flush. I think this is right. You're drawing. You were drawing. I think this is right. Have a wrap No, I think I think I was just a twenty-five. I didn't want to look. Too fair. Doesn't matter. You got to suck. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But you had a flush draw too. Not blush well, I mean, you know, we all go broke with that. You ain't getting off of that. No. Even if Will, even if Will loses tonight, he's got to be thankful that Jolene didn't have the, 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 the 2K in front of her. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah you're, she just got filled with the hand before. You're going to lose the maximum on that. Yeah. She just got the straight flush. Usually I would not have gone all in with, uh, with the straight flush, though. I might have tried to just get a little more out of it. I didn't know. It wasn't much. much chips left. Could have gotten I had zero percent. Zero folds in the world. Four bits of hundred. Well, I mean, Larry was bummed that well, he didn't pair the board. You lost the minimum on that hand. <laughs> lost the minimum? You lost the minimum on that hand. <laughs> Thank you. I'm serious. Yeah, I lost it to the one person that ha didn't have 5,000 folds, yeah. She had the chips from that last hand. Joe with ace, ace, jack, ten, single suited. Well, she raised it up like she should have, but she's got quite a few steppers behind her. And so I'm expecting a few calls. The solvers will say ace, ace, king, king is the best hand, but I prefer the ace, ace, jack, ten. Cool. You possibly can get action off of a king high flush. Oh, if you've got ace-ace, king-king, they're, they're not going to call you with the yeah. queen high flush as often. Pretty good flop here too. Uh, Harry's got the nut flush draw, so she may get some good action here. And Larry has a flush draw too. Yeah, a lot of hearts, hearts are out there. She's got open ender now. Or sorry, no, she does not. <laughs> Gut shot. <coughs> And Will firing at this one, but, you know, seeming like it's checked around on the flop and checked again on the flop. I mean, on the turn, so he's firing a bet out there. But Yeah, he's, he's got an eight in his hand, so he's blocking some straights and checking around. It checked around, as you said. I just don't see Harry folding, though. No, not the nut flush draw. Especially now, now that he's got a gut shot as well. All right, Larry's gone, so if he... Peels off a, a brick here. Will could win this one. Wow. That that just that Look at that card. That's really it's so just pretty. A big, enough, uh, big enough bet was, that I think it was a yeah. took it down. <laughs> Harry didn't want to call with a flush draw with one card to come and nobody else in the pot. And also the 10 and 9 were super. He was the last yeah. one in there, you know. <laughs> nice hand, Will. Do nice you fold, even. Harry. <laughs> <laughs> so I well, I say nice for old Harry. He has Tell him we're going hand. longer. I think he's probably thinking too. If a heart comes uh, off, I'm not going to get any money out of this anyway. I got all, yeah. you know. So you're only going to win what's in the pot. Yeah. You know, as we've said many times tonight, Will knows where he's at in the hand. So not always. Harry knows. He calls. Will's going to know he's on that flush draw. He's not going to pay him off. Right. <laughs> Probably gonna be playing one two five. <laughs> <laughs> Best way to get on stuff. Play smaller. <laughs> Play. You know. I knew today was gonna be a bad day when I when I left the house. <coughs> That's why it was a bad day. <coughs> you know what happened. Will didn't golf with us this morning. He he stayed out, or he skipped out of golf. We were at the course at 7.46 this morning. <laughs> too early for me. Clock strikes midnight, it's on. He just, 
Uh, he set it out and it <laughs> screwed up his mojo. <laughs> That's probably Dude. what it is. Hard. Well, Joe's got enough flush draw, but she's got all hearts in her hand, blocking her own outs. Dollar fifty. She also has a straight draw, though, so she, big flop for her. It's gonna be a hundred back. Waters with a gut shot. How much is it? All these people in here, she got 56% 50 per, equity. I don't even know why I'm calling. Hey, calls. Hey, hey, the guy's under I don't even know why. I have no business calling. Never stopped you before. One, nope. Two, what do you want? Three players. What do we need, Junior? I want a random a miracle. How about a nine? Nine good? Miracle coming up. For everybody? <clears throat> Six of diamonds. Coin flip now between Will and Joe's hands. And she calls <laughs> nice ultra quick. I nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Waters is telling the truth. He has nothing, but he does have 6% chance to river the best hand. <laughs> oh, jeez. Wow, Hoping for a 10. And Joe with the check mark, but a scary river card. Rockets will with the chance to take this down if he continues, and he does. 1,100. I think he's going to get the gonna, job done. Yeah, I think he's going to win this. She's got waters behind her still. Nice hand, Will. You want to see? Both yeah, I do. Three, four, three, four hearts. Pure gutter. <laughs> Just a pure gutter. gutter. Guess one card. Deuce. Four diamond. I, I was gonna say after you swore to God that you had nothing after that river comes out, I don't think you can. I don't think you can bet. I had too many hearts in my hand to even be in that. Rockets will take him one down as we get close to the final half hour of the stream. If you're enjoying the stream so far, please give us a like and subscribe. Be sure to hit that notification bell so that you can find out when we're going to be streaming the uh, tournaments coming up here over the next couple of weeks. We will estimate those start times, but we won't know for sure, so be sure to hit that notification bell. And come on back tomorrow at 7 p.m. for 1025 with a 25 anti no limit hold'em stream. Commentators will be Cord Garcia and Kyle Miller tomorrow. Should be a super fun stream. I like listening to Cord and Kyle both in the booth. It's it's fun, you know. I've said many times on this, Cord's a good friend of mine, and uh, I love talking poker with him. I love talking Houston poker with him. <laughs> super like knowledgeable. Listening. Yeah, and I, I really like listening to him on this stream. Yeah, he's he's great. Super nice guy and Damn, look at Larry's fun to work getting with. Big. <laughs> Oklahoma Larry's a big dude. Well it's probably the ab muscles from all those practice kicks he's been doing. He ain't been practicing <laughs> nothing. Pretty sure I'm gonna be single when I go home. Uh-oh, sorry about that. Oh, Jack of Club's not coming, everybody. Sanjeev with the tea bag this time. All cards, the same suit. Yeah, I try to stay away from those <laughs> if I can. But towards the end of the night, end of the stream. I mean, it's pretty nice looking hand. All Broadway cards. Look for a quarter? You knew it wasn't going to be a quarter. But, yep. yeah. Wait, unless I get this monster. Don't want to have your own outs. Sure. Straight plus and loose. Open ender for please fold. Harry flop two pair. I think I think there's three fifty. What? I think there's three fifty. 
for Larry's got top pair. <clears throat> I said 300. Yeah. That's he true. sure That's true. does. I said, right. You said what's in yeah. there, and yeah. then I said 300. Good point. Good point. I forget what you said. There you go. Well, maybe I wasn't correcting the bet size. Maybe I was just correcting the pot size. Mm -mm. Now, Lawrence here. Got a pair of fours and an open ender. Thank you. Oh, that's a call. That's his call. Okay. Call pair. Okay. Call eight. Call nine. Four ways to the turn. We have one mystery hand in there. <coughs> Open ender gets there. Check. It turns a heart draw for Harry, Check. and Oklahoma Larry's got the dry guy for the hearts. Checks around to the button and please fold fires out a pot size bet with that six high straight. And depending on what Waters has, that ought to get the job done. I don't think anybody else can defend. I mean, Harry does have two pair and a flush draw, but it's not a great flush draw and it's not a great two pair, so yeah, he gets out of the way. Bobby Fillet in the chat asking if we're still doing high hand promo in February. I do believe that the high hand promos will still be going. I think they may be adjusting what hours they're going to be. I think it's going to be slightly different, but they're still going to be high hand promo in February, yes. I'm in a lot of trouble without my set. Oh. But no, you have. Uh, you lost I haven't seen it. <laughs> no rabbit. No rabbit. Waters. No. Waters and Larry's no. are so funny. Next hand. Oh, he's oh. going to straight, I guess. <laughs> Waters and Larry are so funny about the rabbit hunt. <laughs> right. It's not fair. Some of us are stuck. The, the guy winning all the money can't ask for a rabbit hunt. That's our one rule. That's ridiculous. <laughs> No, well, the stuck, the, the I stuck people. I had a sprint and I had a <laughs> The stuck people can. So I might have. I might have had to call on the river. Yeah. Imagine um, how much I'm money Waters would have wanted to be wearing my hat all night. I have four, four, four every hand. But I didn't have the seven high sprint. You had the seven sprint. No, that shirt. No, but no, but I'm saying I had I had a six high sprint. And I had a. I know, I know. Where you get those specially made? This right here. I'm saying I would have had to pay. It just comes with it. It's just that type of shirt. They're called ponchos. The shirt. I would have been very sad to see that river. Yeah, that's my money. I mean, any heart, any next to my heart. Next to my heart. Five hand. Look, I don't know if you're watching the chat, but. Bob Coat in the chat's asking you, Scott, if you remember you last summer when Lawrence had a ponytail and a beard. Dude, that is so crazy. Uh, yes, I do. Uh, I was at WSOP sitting in the chair, and Lawrence taps on my shoulder, and I turned around. Why did, and that, looked, why did that affect things? He almost had this samurai look to him, this oh, nice. samurai haircut he had grown long. Yeah, oh, we might have our first family time. pot of the yeah. night here. I think we've been eight-handed a, a bunch of times, but five hands, guys. I shouldn't have answered your question then. Uh oh, <laughs> damn it! Final five hands. Even though so I, this, I thought this I had ought the best to be a family pot. Y'all, we got to be ready for the greatest comeback of all time. Last five hands. You got a chance. All right, Will's calling it. Will's calling a comeback, and he's got aces. Double suited. What? Only 11% chance to win with these aces double suited. God bless America. That'll go up as we lose uh, I guess, some yeah. players. I guess it depends how much you bet. Well, you bet it 2000, we had 2000. Well, 12% now. I just threw out 2000. That'll go up now. Nope. No random eights. Oh, Harry it it flopped it. Eights full of queens. Look at Oklahoma Larry. He has negative 1%. I don't think I would have done, <laughs> done that, but I, I definitely would have paced. What's in there? 1425. 
Will wants to make something happen, but he knows it's very dangerous for Harry to lead out into a field of 27 players. <laughs> so, <laughs> Harry's not going to bet unless he has an eight. Right. Ace is double, so the boy is the... Thank you. And a short-brimmed hat. I like it. Just sits right on top of his head. Yeah, <laughs> You'll see it. It's very classic look. I like it a lot. I also like that red eye stallion's cap. I gotta get another one. I feel so bad. My I was pulling something out of the back seat of my car and it fell out of the back seat and I didn't notice I ran over it twice. Oh god damn. I was flipping back to my car over the day, so I need to Oh no. Damn my hat. There was this lady that did that to her husband here in Houston a few years ago. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Outside well, of a hotel, she got pissed off and ran over him like three or four times. Well, the hat didn't deserve it. <laughs> no, it didn't. That husband was up to some <laughs> shit before she did that. Yeah. Yeah. Sweater guy with the big aces this time. Single suited, but ace, ace, king, jack. What a monster. I'll take that hand every time, please. He'll get action from Larry. Larry's got a little rundown. And Waters got a bigger rundown. Double, Double suited. suited. It was a fun day. Y'all had fun? <coughs> a lot of fun. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure they had fun, but they missed me, right? Oh, yeah. They won't miss you when they listen back. Ace is full. Jack's full of aces. Oh, yeah, aces full of jacks full of aces. <laughs> yeah, Swear guy's got it all. He's got to check because nobody can have anything. Diamond one time. Wow. Quads full of jacks. Just hoping somebody has something. Now in Omaha, unlike Hold'em, when it's a double paired board, players are less likely wow. to have <laughs> like a full house. Ace is full high. Oh, wait. No. But oh, they have a <laughs> sweater they guy's got off. everything. Straight draw. Oh. What about Jack King? Jack King. I guess I'm not complaining, but no action. Someone would have drawn on a gut shot royal. A queen, ten of diamonds? They give you a royal flush? I had everything out. Jack King, Mike, who are you? I was hoping that Jack. Only one Jack left. There's only one. Maybe there's someone had nothing left. And turned to King, Queen. Everybody's hung tough and played good tonight. <laughs> They've yeah. had their ups and downs. Poker's not easy. Been a great stream. It's been good having you here for analysis, especially having, you know, that you know all these players as well. Kind of get inside their head a little bit. Yeah, it's been, it's been great. Like I said, I've always imagined being on this side of the camera and this side of the booth and very fun. We'll have to do it again sometime, but I know you're itching to get back out there and play. Well, the thing is, I know players like Larry like the back of my hand. <laughs> so, Dan, I really don't need to see their cards to tell you. <laughs> I can guess what they're doing. Yeah, you guys often get it pretty be, close when you're now. running it down board. on the table there and you can't see their hands. It's pretty, it's pretty fun to watch. A bunch of people seeing a flop. Harry's sure. got nines. What else? Okay. Sanjeev, bottom two in the straight draw. Pot. I heard Harry say pot. Betting those nines. Got those blockers. Yeah, he's blocking both ends of it. So for those of you at home or new, when we say blockers, we mean the best possible hand here is a straight eight nine. And Harry has two nines in his hand. It means it's unlikely that anybody else has two nines. So he decides to bluff here. That's a good spot to bluff when you got blockers Blur. like that. Right, and it Show limits it. the combination of eight, nine oh, hands. Show oh, them, Harry. The, <laughs> the double blockers. Thank you. A double blocker. <clears throat> Man, if I wasn't. That's rare. You don't usually. Usually when you have double, you have this race. Well, we got three more hands. Two. Two. Yeah, this one and one more. <laughs> hmm. 
I'll get the straddle. Uh, Our place. Just a couple more hands left of this stream. Waters looking to well, Waters has had remain a big, the big one, yeah. He's had a few big replays on our stream. He definitely has. He's another somebody. guy. It's, uh, he's going to win big or lose big. Yeah, there you go. Action player. If you had four H, then you... If I would have had a chance to make a straight, I would have... Yeah, I've if you often had four thought H, as a coach, eight, seven, eight, eight, six, eight, what do I want? A player who... It's hard to get him to act or come out of a shell or do something. Or would you rather have a guy like Waters who's just all over the place and you got to learn to tame him, you know? Uh, I think about that a lot. Oh. Larry making a little jick raise. A little enhancement. We call them uh, jick raises, just in case, and we also call them skillet builders. This is sort of a pumped up skillet builder. Show them what it's about, Jolene. Raise yeah, it. How can you fold? All right. I'm hoping. I would have laughed my butt off. If Sanjeev, Sanjeev makes a straight raised. flush with the seven four hearts. Here. I would have. I would have <coughs> laughed my butt off if he would have potted it. You gotta give him the six. Yeah, the six hundred is the more important part <laughs> there. <laughs> seven ways to the flop. Seven four gets there. <laughs> Freaking action killer. Rockets will though flops the king high. Oh wow! Rockets will flops the king high flush, but he's got Sanjeev leading into everybody with a dry guy ace. This, yeah, this and the seven and fours. So <laughs> I like it, Sanjeev. I'm glad you had the balls to do it, brother. Let's see what Will does. Tough spot because he's not just gonna have to call the flop. He's got to call the turn in the river. Oh, wow. He's just going to raise it now and see if he can. I faded the snap call. You don't have a straight wow. flush. Woo! Oh, wait, that's because I have it. <laughs> yeah, he looks at Will immediately because he knows I that. I do. I thought you had the ace high and there's no way you're pulling. Yeah, I can't wait. He bet 2275 and he ended up betting that. Bad fault, Sanjeev. 7 4 was going to get there. I could feel it. Really? Would have been interesting to see what happens if Will just calls to see if Sanji would have st stuck with the uh, right, continued with the bluffing on the turn. I know you did, but I had two pairs though. Glad I didn't just flat. It would have 100% turned the full house. I believe this must be the last hand. Is that a straight flush, Will? Yeah, I jammed on a straight flush. <laughs> I really thought he had ace high and he's just no no fold. Oh, you're just protecting. Didn't want to, Yeah, didn't want anyone <laughs> to suck out. Yeah. Didn't want someone to get the higher one. Runner, runner, higher straight flush. Got last hand. And normally you'd be playing and you'd be given the. Uh, There's no the good night speech. Yes, I would. Yeah. It is getting late uh -huh. in the night, and this oh, is the last hand. Will oh, we, oh, we got to see the worst beat put on in stream history. Straight flush over straight flush. 300 is the um, best. Oh, yeah. Well, I won't get away saying much time. I'm never pulling a straight flush. I don't play the game big enough. I'm pulling a straight flush. But good news is. I don't know if there is a game big enough. I think I only lost like 500. <laughs> Call 300C3. Call 300C4. Last hand of the night, Will and I. You'll get changed. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Thank you, all of the players, for playing. I would have folded this. the last four hands if they weren't the last hands. In. <laughs> he definitely would have folded this one. <laughs> Ooh, 7, 8, 10. I saw some rock, rockets. Will has blockers.
what's the plan? What are you doing there, big boy? Rockets Will has blockers. Jolene has a flush draw. Huh? No. Will leads in bets. So I won. I won. And it's the last hand of the night. People are starting to rack up their chips. You, you thinking you got blockers to the straight? Go ahead and bet them, and you'll probably take it down. Gets Jolene out of the way. Sweater guy with the mystery hand could have some spades or something in there. But a lot of a lot of dead tens, as you said. Sanjeev with a gut shot and backdoor clubs. Now that's a tray of spades. So just the gut shot. Okay. Gets out of the way. This Larry guy, king, queen, five deuce. Absolutely nothing. Gonna go for a bluff here. Gonna go for a bluff, maybe, with absolutely nothing last hand of the night. <laughs> no. <laughs> Didn't realize it was on him. Okay, okay. I just thought he was just like, whatever. <laughs> Takes it down with the blockers. Rockets will. Final hand of the night. Guys, thank you again, everybody, for tuning in. It was fun being here in the booth. Thank you to the players. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Scott. Pleasure having you here on this side of the th thing. Take a look at the cumulative totals here. Uh, Rockets will did climb his way out of the hole a little bit, but ends up still in the red. Oklahoma Larry. Made a little bit of a comeback as well, but ends up on the bottom of the board there at 8,800. Waters, the big story, though. Over 17,000 winner. Nice, nice win, Waters. Nice job there. Harry wins 6K. L Tractor wins over 5,600. And Lawrence, 2360. First time on the stream. Very ends nice. Ends up in the green. Played very well. Harry was in the hole, but came back. Very nice job. Will was in the hole big time. Got a lot of it back. Good job, guys. Well, come on back tomorrow, 7 p.m. for a 10:25 with 25 Annie No Limit Hold'em game from Houston, Texas. This is Dan Fouts and Fireman Scott. Have a good night. Thank you, Houston.